don't have them can't tell. Cause if them test, what we do them? We lay them to rest. Oh man. Fight with a printer, I did a fight with my one today too. I'm gonna solve the problem. I'm just two over the cross is on you. You understand? But just send it to over upon your CBS. Yeah, you understand? Cause the battle is on, you know. And next weekend, you know, may I tell you say a certain crew I'm gonna be I'm gonna lay it to rest. We're gonna make them sleep. We're gonna send them on, transition them into the nether world. Both them name Hans Ness. I go and let them are the best. And them are run come test. And we'll lay them to rest. Pop up. Okay. We're not afraid of people around here. You understand? I will be against any hands to run up on we. We now make no hands spoil the picnic and come near my for cake and all these things. Because I saw them tan. Then we had to spread out your blanket and thing and you know. You know, you know, you know. And then them running. I saw the ants nest them turn. Them are blacker. The ants nest people them, them are blacker. You hear me tell you? How many times when I go a bush and when I try to look at something and thing and I get romantic and all these things and the ants them come biting up. I saw them turn. I saw them turn. Them are wicked. You understand? The ants them are wicked but we'll be a gun any ants around here. We'll be a gun any ants around here. We have the proper insecticide to make them run the hide. You understand? That's all sort the of thing there. B and I can't pick up yourself in a blessings and respect. Jack, Jack, I just see your chicken back. Real boss and other thing. Robert Blackwood, pick up yourself in a. Okay. I want to hear about B and I can't be down. And dogs are biting all day We can't bother with you Yeah Yeah Naki B DJ Naki B Can't bother with them name there you know. Man's a big respect to him Man's a big respect to all crew Run come up and have the things in Rock a shot to life now Yes right you know I'm playing a good good phone I'm playing a good up good up and all these things, let's go. Max up, man. Maxine, pick up yourself, good as Trying by the Maxine. Yeah, Craig Tana, see you.
money green. We, yeah, yeah, put the, yeah, put the, yeah, put the weight name the sign of Axe Maxine Body. Listen to me, Tony. TG. If Raga say Maxine Body Trang, Maxine Body Trang. If I want it, me no Trang Body. Me, Raga Shanti, me no Trang Body. Me no Trang Firm Solid Body. I mean, I tell you, say Maxine Body. That is so. I want you wonder about. I want you wonder about. I tell you, say Body Trang. Me not ask you. I tell me, I tell you, anybody, all right, watch out now, watch out now, TG, Craig Dan, Craig Dan, Craig Dan, you know Maxine body, right, Maxine body trunk, yes or no, let me see where Craig Dan I go for, Craig Dan, Maxine have a trunk, healthy, firm body, yes or no, see, Craig Dan say, we the job I'm here. Oh, hold well, on. That's something different to me. Let me see where Craig Tan I'm going to say. <laughs> 20 Green. Let me see where Craig Tan I'm going to say. All right. 20. You see where Craig Tan say? <laughs> Craig Tan post as a max seed strong the bomb <laughs> Well, if there was any doubt, if Maxine body track, Craig Dan's response just now cleared up all doubts and all confusion and all like, you know, anything that may be a bit perplexing with, with regards to that type assertion, Craig Dan just clear it up, right? Craig Dan, Craig Dan the boss, eh? Maxine body track the B-clad and the dog put it in our caps. All right, argument done to any green. So I'm going to know what, see, you know, you know, I have nothing very wonder about right this, you know. It has been made abundantly clear. Maxine body strong and firm. And firm up body there. You can't come in and look a Dalio's thing if you're going to deal with a body like Maxine body. You can't come in and look a play, play, pian, pian, something. That not going to work. You have to come correct. Your thing have to balance up and thing, you know? And your skill set have to up there. And you have to know if you juggle your thing and angle the ride. You right? Remember them old school songs that you couldn't angle the ride? Eh? You have to know what you deal with, because Maxine is no joke. Okay. I know it's a Maxine, a girl. You know, when she juggle and thing, she always make sure she I look at something, something, you know? Pepper up and... And she ready and get her in her mood, you know. But you can't come in and look at the idiot thing or whatever, because Maxine is in a look of waste of time, fool, fool, something. You understand? You have to come in proper. You know, you look at the gazing thing. That's not going to work. All right? Sonia, big up yourself, boo boo. Pretty point, she said, good afternoon, and she soon come back. She going to drink her porridge. She going to drink her porridge where her mother cook for her. So she says she soon come back. That is pretty punchy right there. All right. She can drink her porridge because every day her mother cook porridge for her. Because she likes porridge, but she can't make it herself, you know. Anytime pretty punchy make, try to make car meat porridge, it come out in a yellow water. Yeah. Anytime pretty punch you try to make calm in part, you come out in a yellow water, you know. That's something that not really work and things. So she kind of allow it out and just make her mother make it parry. You understand? Yeah, because a yellow water something there. Yeah, some people when they want to make parry, you know, pretty punchy, Del Marine, CBS, Antasha. When them try to make calm in part, you just come out in a yellow water, you know. And through them go put um you know, them I try to boost up a thing and go put look a nutmeg in it. It just come out in a spotty spotty yellow water, you know. It comes in that yellow water with dirt in it. Cause them always put too much um, nutmeg in it too. And then so what about nutmeg and thing or whatever. So it just come in like dirty yellow water. Yellow water with sand in it. You know, I suffer them porridge look. You understand? Yeah. See the Christine, I said one time she had cooked fish and the fish end up purple. <laughs> I just said the fish end up purple. You understand? She posted seat there. 
See there, is she posted? Is she posted? See the well, and Dasha say what that one that, that cannot cook has the loudest voice and uh, and Dasha and my fault make a porridge. Make a porridge always look like yellow water with sand in it. Cause you go put the nutmeg. With sand in it and piece of mango leaf for drop off my tree because that's the way you think of the cinnamon leaf where you put in it. Yeah, I saw and Tasha porridge them look, you know. Porridge them not stay right. You understand? The porridge them not stay right. Them people then can't make my job I can't make look a porridge, you know, we can't, you know. Java can't make look a porridge. Java will pass with look a porridge, and she, she can't, you know. She ain't a big cook. She can't cook no big thing, but she can't make look a porridge. One thing we can't say about Java, she will juggle with the porridge. You see me? Yeah. Naki B, forget about it. No, no, no. Na you know when Christina and um, when 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 Christina and and and, and Antasha and Delmarina and Pretty Pony try to make bars, it look like yellow water. With Nakita, it even worse. It just coming like pee pee. <laughs> it coming like pee pee. When she do it, it coming like pee pee. It just coming like like you know yellowish orange pee pee, right? Nakita, no ask Nakita for make a party tree or whatever. It never come out good. It just come out like you know. It does come out like rancid pee pee. Wait a second, what is rancid pee pee? Can pee pee be rancid? Uh, uh, rancid pee pee. I saw it come out. I saw it come out. When Nakita make it. Yeah. So, Fia, I think even worse. You know, so she had the queen of the Bafan thing. You understand? Nakita, a queen of the Bafan thing. Nakita and them wokely, she can't do nothing good with them. Them just dead as up, for no purpose. You understand? Them just dead up, you know. But what do you expect? You're talking about Antsness crew people, and well, them are in you know, the Antsness crew, but um, them are trying to recruit her and thing. But um, them are in a side eye, you know. A side eye, you know, we know what you say. You talk up, talk up to the Antsness crew, them like, say, you consider, like, you know. But we are watching, you know, we don't even tell you what you're doing, Delmarine. You understand yourself and know what you must do. You understand, right? Don't succumb to the peer pressure. Don't make them tell you the foolishness and whatever. You have nothing to gain by joining the Ants Nest crew, right? Delmarine, remember, say, you little already, you know. Delmarine, remember, say, you little and wingy already, you know. So you don't need to be associated with anything when you're ants. <laughs> Delmarine, remember say you look a bit of petite already and look a bit already, you know. Yes, you see your you Antasha tall and whatever. Yes, you see pretty punch, you know? And you see your CB. Delmarine, you don't need fear going and nothing when you're ants. You see know? yes, you look a bit of wingy already. You don't need to go nowhere near nothing when you're ants. Delmarine, if you go join the ants crew, them, you know what I'm going to call you? Little ants, right? I'm going to call little ants. Little antsy and whatever, right? Right away, you're going to get near my whatever, because you're going to be the wingiest ants right this one thing or whatever. And I'm going to call you little antsy. It don't sound good. It don't sound good, Delmarine. Don't join the crew. You have nothing to gain over there. Right? You don't need to be associated with anything named ants. You don't want nobody to look for you and talk about, yo, black ants. Black, <laughs> black ants, that, that, black ants, walk one, black ants. Nee, that, that, that not no fit you. That not fit you, Delmarine. So, you know, don't go over there. It's not going to work out good for you. You understand? Yeah. And you know, some of them ants, you know, them front part, little bit, and them back part, and big bump on them thing there. Then Marine them with that deal with you wicked and you know you know have no don't go over there, don't go over there, don't go over there. Wait no way. One hand there. Wait, 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 well on, well on. I have so many rags here, I'm gonna sing on wait, wait, what well on.
Check. All right. So we're going to work with the rug. When I shot the rug around here, you know, we're good like that, no? All right. Let me see what I'm going on here, now. Ooh, ooh. No, 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 no. Maxine, don't make Java me a style you up there, me the out of you, but Maxine, we don't we don't recruit non cookers. Stay over team run. <laughs> that bad. Maxine, Maxine, take the man, I'm out of She bright. She bright, but don't but don't recruit non cooker. And don't recruit non cooker and I'm a pretty punchy, you know? pretty punchy can't even make porridge. Can't even boil water good. Girl burn water. Right? Delmarine, non cooker. Right? CBS can't cook either. You know, CBS says she just make fish turn purple. Yeah. She buy, she buy snapper fish. I cook snapper fish and I don't know snapper. It's kind of red or whatever. And the snapper fish turn purple. Is she just post it? Is she just post it? Is she just post it? You want Java Armo light is in rank? Out of that, no Maxine, don't make sure this is them way, they move to her nastiness, she out of that, she out of that, how she for do you that? You know, even though we did have some issue with your cooking, which you want to, but, now for defending you now, because you said team raga, all right, pretty punchy, okay, I'm back, whenever I miss you, we are, we are telling you say you come back, but whenever I miss you, we don't even know what to say you're gone. Ain't pretty punchy. We don't have the notice where you're going. Where you announce say you come back for. Like, who cares? Anyway. Uh, Delmarine, we're not. Don't, Delmarine, don't start with the eye yeah. you can't cook, all right? Don't start. Um, ooh, somebody has said, them don't want to make Aminicon. You know, my favorite parrots that, you know. Uh, I'm in a can porridge, my love, over, Camille porridge, Camille porridge, I'm a thing, but, no, this is yellow, it's a yellow, it's a yellow rag, it's a yellow rag, so y'all, y'all need to stop, okay, y'all need, this is a yellow rag, like yellow, yellow, see that yellow, right, if you're colorblind, you're colorblind, right, me and this, right, me and this, I don't want to untouch it, but we miss you pretty much. Anyway. Anyway. Chokisha. So, Chokisha, you're not forward. I put that dead marine just right. Sir, you just pushed me over the line. Team Ansness, ANC. All right, now you, all right, Delmarine. Cause let me tell you, so we are side eye, you. Cause we see what I go on, you know, with your enough self. You want running, yeah, yeah, with your enough self. You say you want running and thing. All right, Galang over there, Craig Tan. Where I go on, Papa? Where I go on? Big up, big up, Tom from Love or not? Yeah. I rather this is a quick one. Um, mm -hmm. when you have, if it's possible, when you have found, you, you can bring some Tom from Mer, uh, Mer, Mer, what do you mean? Mer, Mer, yeah, sorry, you call yeah, it. Wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I can't March, that. March, yeah. Like what? Like yeah, that'd be, that'd be nice, man. Yeah, the, the, you know, me love it. Yeah, all right. You said that'd be nice, man. Okay, all right. No. Oh, I, oh, I'm full British here tonight, mate. I'm flying tomorrow in the morning, isn't it? You know? Yeah, full British tonight. <laughs> I'm going to fly tomorrow. Full, full I'm British gonna fly tonight, mate. I'm going to fly in the morning. Hell, mate. 100%. Yeah, I'm gonna in the morning, morning, mate. Early. Early in the morning. morning. Yeah. <laughs> In the morning. Well, yeah, on the Hello, side, Maxine. On the only only Maxine Evans understand me at the moment. You know, full full cockney. You know what I mean? Full, I know you know like the cockney argument, but you know, yeah, yeah, yeah cockney. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> man, I say yo, I be a cockney. I come out of your mouth right now. Uh, right, it right, yeah. right, keep right. it real. Yeah. Yeah. yeah anyway, yeah. me not tired, but I just I just let me no, want well, to listen. Before you go, though, before you go, Tony G did I wonder if Maxine body tick and firm and shape. Uh, me me not have a cuss about it. My own. Tony G. Tony G. Tony G. Tony G. Tony G. Tony G. Talk to him. Talk to him. Talk to TG. Yo, uh, Maxine, the type of girl when she walk past. Anything flammable, they explode. Black <laughs> <Back> me at <laughs> it. 
When girl good, girl good. When girl turn up, yeah, girl turn up. Girl set, Big when up girl set good. I want me to tell you. When girl yeah, seen a pass, I want to tell you. Things, things man. explode and things, things rise up and all these things. Oh, I want to tell you about. I want him to know about. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All I right, don't know. I don't know. I didn't know him. Let me tell him. Let me tell him still. He yeah. never knows. So let me yeah. tell him. Yeah, yeah. For yeah. Like a guy know. That's the thing. Then. Careful. That's Big the up Max T. Right. That's yeah. So. Big up Max T. Mm -hmm. Don't violate and whatever. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you yeah. must think. I look at Del Marine. This thing your favor. Like, you know when they look a balloon the way you blow up a school. Me, de, no, I'm not going to join up on that. Tell me, look nice. Your, your, your party one. No, I just still sorry. I'm not going to go down the video. No, man, go man from what she wants to join the hands the screen, but she's going to join the Oh, so that's what I'm going to do. Tell me, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, yeah. Going, oh, but you just going to cross the line, so I'm going over and whatever. This is so lame. <laughs> Yeah, pathetic, you know what I'm saying? Wan go over there and then she go over there now, she'll lick a lance, you know? Whatever, she'll lick a lance. Lick a auntie. Yeah, lick a lance. Probably she yes. may get a recipe or two over there for build back her career, car, right? You know, she have none. Uh -uh. You understand? So, you know, Bafan, I go teach Bafan. CBS, I go teach her how to do things over there. Yeah. Over there. You yeah. can't imagine how she over there, right? You know? You know where she's gonna end up, I know. Man. No, you know she's gonna end up. You know, she, she... No, she's gonna end up and do things like, you know, like curry stew peas, you know, season egg, uh, and all them something uh, there. Uh, Occuparage. Yeah. I... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And them something that they're gonna do. And yeah, 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 yeah. when it's done and it's spoiled, I'm gonna say, see, it's original. <laughs> Just to play it off. You see me? Yeah, son. So when I look upon them, you see, all right? That's why we have to give but thanks to people like Sonia <laughs> and Sham, you know, what it like a G, right? And now run in. Look upon Sophia Greer, whatever, what it like a G, you know, now run in. Yeah, yeah. Look at insect crew, <clears throat> you understand? You know, so my, 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 you know, my program may you, may you good like that. But you see, you see, and screw now. Me, 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 I give them a chance. I'm, I, me, when I get there, crack, I make crack, my, crack, my decision from that down, point. Down, crack down. Be careful. No, man, keep it real, man, keep it level. No, man, be careful, man, be careful. Correct, I don't like me know, you know. Nearly 20 years, uh, right, 17 right. years. Right, right. Nearly 20 years. When do I find, you're nearly 20 years, you just say nearly 20 years. Oh, oh, oh what is yeah. the ants' nest crew? Like what, two months? Like two months? Two, two months, yeah? That's just, you never try, let me see what I'm going to do. Correct, man. Go easy, man. <laughs> go easy, man. Go, you know what I said? We are some on our ground. My feet are some of them ants. They are by to run die quiet. <laughs> what you say? That a ground? <laughs> no, no, a, it looks like some on our get one or two look by it and die quiet. You know, like, no, nah, nah, that a ground? No, no, I move right at all. Me, I tell you, the ants are screwed. No, nah, I move right at all. All right, but I anyway, you know. <laughs> yeah, but quick time, yeah. you know, me earlier when I did over your place in London, because you know, I go over there, I never really go over there with no fear yeah, yeah. and thing, you know, I go over and me think, yeah, yeah. Friend, you know, and whatever. But you know, Raga Shanti Travel Club up there and thing and whatever. So we are explore different places and I create and I ask a question and them and all these things and whatever. For mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you don't know, look for a, a time for a London trip in the future, you know. Yeah, that's how we did it, man. We did it. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, well, well. From that, I go on here for did it because we want it to be our little <laughs> flavor. You understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's how we did it. You know, yeah, you know. The flavor kind of different, you know. You yeah. Know. Worse, like, you know, with London, too, you have to be careful with it in terms of activities, you know, because with all due respect, London is not, this is just me. It's not the most exciting place. <laughs> um, I, I will agree with you, but make sure no. Sure, no. Yeah. It's every better than Paris. Paris is a place. Yeah, 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 yeah. For Jamaica, and yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, I've yeah, been there yeah. about four or five times, bro. And yeah. I, 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 the tour guide, when I go to Paris, it's for the tour guide purposes, for tour guide, just carry somebody. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, I mean, yeah, you have the little, you know, the lovers thing in the boat where you can do and. <laughs> They do have good wines over there, so if you're interested in wine. I'm, I'm but, tea uh, total, so I'm going to drink here. Yeah, go and talk. And what? And what, 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 what? I'm tea total. I don't drink, so keep going and talk here. Okay. Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. I'm just saying. It, it have, um, I know. If you have your money, you know, you can't have fun at Paris. But it's not, you know, in terms of, 
No. <laughs> the things that are attractive. When it come to Europe, Spain. Yeah. When it come to Europe for me, Spain. Spain. And Amsterdam. 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 Oh, people, may I tell you from now? I'm going to go to Amsterdam at some point. And I don't, I'm not a weed smoker. But um, Amsterdam is known for legal weed. I mean, I'm telling you from now, in terms of research purposes. Yeah, I said it. Research purposes. I will be consuming products related to cannabis, right? Which is um just so to know it's it's big business all over the world. I want to know right here in America it's um <coughs> legalized for recreational and medicinal purposes and things like that and whatever. And it has long been the case that we use it for all kind of thing in Jamaica. Ganja tea, we put um um ganja in a turn car meal. Um, people are make products you know like you know say clothes make out of ganja you did you know that hemp is it ganja that part of hemp hemp, hemp for hemp, me yeah hemp for right me. exactly hemp right mm. right 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 so um me telling a firm no i'm gonna want to negotiate why you might do that or whatever because someone on still have um archaic um conceptions relating to it or whatever but for the record i i don't get up every day and smoke weed it's not my thing but when I'm going to Amsterdam, I will be partaking of um, the indigenous offerings there for research purposes, okay? I'm just... Well, I, and I shall be going to the red light district for research purposes. For research purposes. I mean, I buy oh, yes. the red, oh, yeah. I mean, I'm partaking of those offerings in the red light district. Well, me can't really partake, but as I said, I'm going for research purposes. Right. Yes. Now, I'm going for... Yeah, um, yeah. Um, there's a part around there here named Little Africa. Um, so, um, Little yeah. Africa. No, no I, we're going there for um to appreciate visual representations of um certain cultural yes. dynamics. Yes. Okay. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. That yes. is, uh, yeah. We'll yeah. go yeah. there. But even that, like you know, that not do nothing for me. You know that no. I, I'm just interested yeah, in the box store. Research. It's just research. Yeah. That yeah. Might, research. Know, and, uh, I mean, y'all look pretty naked on my line. Uh, that not do nothing for me. When I was a teenager, yeah, but uh, you know, young people them get oh, excited. What you want? Do you want to flap my shoe? Uh, you, you, you see, me, when you talk about your 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 your, your, your weed thing, me love you. I mean, I talk about me like you you run me, yeah, you make me my thing like you know, that. Flap, you flap saying, me. I'm just saying that the, the, for me, the whole notion that you can be walking on a road and every hour yeah. there's a woman in a in a parade glass in, case in a, in a big glass case and it is legal and she pay her license and thing or whatever and doing that and whatever and of course it's a nightmare for feminists who just think it's the ultimate um degradation of women you know i mean displaying them as products on a shelf literally so it's the, it's the intellectual part that i'm interested mm. in or whatever like yeah you know, fair enough fair you enough, know, enough. Like, you know naked woman and thing that you know been there done that in my age right? so, that's true but this is i just put it out there you know yeah, but you yeah. put it out there but you but you, so yeah, but, you but you want to and yeah when i'm a red light district people most of the wind of them it's actually like a pink red light them having <laughs> literally no, you know no, and I'm actually the, the the actually we're gonna when the when the, the windows when when they have the red light on yeah that means that they want for business but when, when the lights off that means the business are going oh business are going and when right the business when the client when the when the, the the fellow researcher comes out yes yeah <laughs> they they turn on back the lights yeah yo yeah. let me tell you something one time um um a friend of mine we were in a club right and a friend of mine the first time, I, I I didn't even know what a lap dance was to just show you how ignorant I was. Years oh, ago, yeah. you know. And I was like, yo, we we'll buy you a lap dance. And I'm like, what? And I'm like, I'm so go on, man. <laughs> and I said, we are. And I said, we pay your feet already, man. And and, and 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 the woman was like, come on, I need to make this money, okay? So don't make me not make the money. Because if you don't, come and I'm going to make the money. And I'm like, okay, whatever. We're we'll going there now. I sit on, and me say, she come up, come over me. I want to, me not buy front. You understand? So me I said to her, I said, no, I'm good, you know. I'm good, you know. And she said, like, what, what? And me I said, no, I'm good. You don't, you don't have to do this or whatever. And me go say, um, no, I, I, I don't want to have any sex or anything. 
And she's like, no, it's not sex. I will not sleep with you. Are you, are you crazy? <laughs> what, <so> me, what <laughs> <is it>? <laughs> 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 no, I was just going to dance on you and wine for you and things like that. And I'm like, oh, okay, but never, but never know. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> and I say, I hear what I go on. Me and you can just sit down and reason that thing. I ain't gonna say me and that woman we just sit down and we chat and reason that thing. I don't know. So from my lap from a lap dance to an interview. Yeah, yeah that was a med, yo, and <laughs> I tell her, you know, with her, you know, she, you know, I got through some things in her life and you know, she never really wanna do them something there, you understand? Mm, mm. She, yeah, and she explained to me why she do it. And she actually have a man. She have a man, and she love one thing, mm -hmm. whatever, you know. And, and she said, she said she she do when she feel like and if the money good, she said she do. She actually, you know, she do look a song. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me respond to Licky Lips Caribbean chip. She, she text and say, look how much single woman that I've written. I mean, one left girl and go buy a poems color. I, I, I know that, you know, babe. Jesus, Nothing like that, you know. Licky Lips, Lips are all you reach this song. The man never you said nothing song? about go buy front at all. With that. Licky lips, oh, Licky you, lips you know how much friends to cross and brick wall and no, ocean just swim for each over here. So, oh, you reach over this door. Oh, you reach this door. Yeah, you all are make, it like, yeah, all are make it like this national cultural thing to like, you know, don't buy Holland pumps, buy the UK pumps. <laughs> <laughs> Licky lips, when my wife said, I like the other talk. Licky lips, Licky come lips. on, tidy up that man. Tidy up that Come on, man. Fix that, fix that, fix that for me, please. Fix that, man. Come on, fix that for me. You, you, you misunderstand the thing. Them man, you're not juggling me there. Them man, you know, them man, you're having people. Them. Here, put it this way. Still love you, Licky Lips. Big up yourself. Still love you, Licky Lips. Big up, big up, big up. Big up, big up. Big up, big up. Licky Lips, look, come work all right. You know, your lip yeah, turn and yeah, dry. Yeah. You know? Why it's called a beat, you're my friend. Why oh, it's, she says it's a question. Eh? She says a question. She, she says, says it's a question. question. No, look at it. When, yeah, no, well, no, we're not going to go back to the end. With no, we're good. We're good. good. Well, uh, it cannot be a question and it end with sad. She just kill herself right there. So. She yeah, said, yeah, look oh, yeah. Single sorry. woman in Britain and you want to go to Holland to buy Pum's caller. Sad. The sad mm. is a commentary. Don't try to fix up the thing, little lips. Hold your heart and thing. I don't make a <laughs> respect for you because you ratchet back the thing right you now and thing now. Hold your heart and little lips. And right now you need for little lips too. Because right me now, yeah. go on. your lip them dry up right you now. A white squall, a clot up your ass. And you end up on a chat foolishness right you now and thing. Oh, yeah. You hear what I say? My general now got them something there, right? We don't yeah, buy front. The only way you could have said we buy front. The we only all way people. you could have said we buy front is if we were involved with somebody. We don't have a problem at taking uh -huh. care of them. Don't it, Crichton? Don't it? Oh, you mean, man? To the max. To the max. To the max. Oh, you mean? Oh, you mean? Yeah, money for spend for your woman. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but outside of that, that, we don't buy front. We don't have to wear and say, listen to me. I want half pound a front today, you know. Raga, raga, what, 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 what li, 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 lick your lips about a cree. It's it's a a ball win. Cree. All right, thank you. It's a ball cree. <laughs> yeah. No, lick your lips, you need a ball cree. Because look for a woman to hear from you. And you come run out and one day, you take it to the general and tell you, we beat out your cloth, right? Yes, I know, I think like that. What you need for God to do is go do a pedicure because your foot back must you chip up on it, I can't feel it. But Jesus. anyway, what I am right, saying... Roll over, roll over. Lower, just lower, chicago, lower, lower, roll over, roll over. Lower, lower, lower. All right, look at this. Lower, look at this, big up your staff. No love and respect yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. careful here. Yeah. Lickily, Put on clothes man in conversation. Then you know. conversation get a naked a while ago. You know they want. Yeah, you know, yeah. Lickily, yeah? fix up that damn thing. You are going like you want yeah. this the G. Eh? You want this yeah, the G. You know, Lickily, yeah. oh you forgot down this one thing. And you see what that in her picture? Uh, she make products, you know. So I think her product. Yeah, whatever. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, man. She said love always to so no, big no, no, Anyway, no, 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 let me not. Well, well, Licky Lips do for take beat me do and laugh it after a long time doing. You know? Remember? You know, oh, remember. okay, okay, no, okay, okay. Did, who did move to her? I, I think. I, I, I would. Am I lady? But am I lady? No, my lady. No, I know my lady. The the stool chicken, the stool chicken, and what's the stool well, chicken? Or Brittany, or Brittany didn't move the brown stool chicken. <laughs> Yeah, and did she? When she, 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 she didn't move the licky lips to now. And licky lips was laugh. Licky lips was laugh yeah, off everything. I think that's where you go. No, I true because remember you did get beaten too from um yeah from what? Britney. 
<laughs> yeah, we sure it's have chicken. fun over here. We oh, sure yes, have we fun over here and thing, you know. But Licky Lips, you yeah. know, and a Craig Tan, you for draw up and thing. Licky Lips are people like Java Mir, you for draw up, who full of chat and thing, <laughs> go cooking, and then can't cook, and then people you for talk about and thing, right? You know, and then people you for talk about Licky But anyway, my brother, big up yourself, you know. All right, see you next week, brother. See All you. right, yeah. Tom Fam get I'm in that place. next week. Mad thing. All right. Yeah, man. Mad thing. Big up. Well, Tom well, Fam, well, love you now. When are you flying tomorrow? I'm on I'm on in the weather. 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 I'm taking the plane tomorrow. I'm getting on the airplane tomorrow, mate. You're All the way to JFK. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because I'm loving it, mate. Loving it. I was explaining to somebody over there that there's a thing in London where y'all pronounce your T's when they start a word. But you don't pronounce your T's in general when they're in a word. You mean later? Later. <laughs> Battersea. Yeah. But when Battersea, we said tomorrow. Battersea, when yeah. We said tomorrow. Uh, yeah, tomorrow, I, I yeah, you, yeah. I told you. I told you. But yeah. it's later. Battersea. Uh, it, is, word, which other word? It, it's when I came back. It's when I came back. To, I was born here. Grew up in the Jamaica. But when I came back here and made somebody upon Poo. 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 I said, what the hell is pork? By the time I Paul, the man I say in the star. I said, they say Paul over there. Pool. Paul. The name Paul. A Paul. I never said pool. Yeah, pool. <laughs> no, pool. You can't be a deal. You can't be a deal. No, I call you pool. <laughs> and I Paul, you name and I call you pool. That, that I don't mean you Paul. I call somebody. I said, oh, I call him on pool. I call somebody else in Paul. And I said, pool. Yeah. Pool. Pool. I sound like you call him on pool, don't Yeah. Nah, them something they don't yeah, do right, that. you know. You can't call him on poo. You know, sound right at all or whatever, mm, you know. Mm, mm. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, thank, thank you, Little Lips. It's a safe travel. Yeah, man, big up yourself. <laughs> no, love, 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 yeah. All right. Now, see anyway. Word, <clears throat> see you next week, you know. Now, don't pack now and sit there. Yeah, man, blessings, yeah. yeah Tam fam, one, one look. Yeah. A way of life, Raga, we tell them all the time, isn't it? Tam fam is yeah. a way of life. It's a way of being. Yes, man. Right? And that's yeah. thing there, all right? I just said the thing that matters. Cool. Cool. All right, people, before we proceed, um, there is a not surprisingly, we had um quite a few um responses um to um our caller yesterday. You know, it's um it's one of our memorable calls and um I knew that it was going to have that kind of impact where, you know, you know, many will be talking about it. And uh, so several of you reach out to me with different parts of it and stuff that you didn't understand. And, uh, you know, some of you, um, a few of you, you are, uh, I, I think you miss, there, there's a couple parts that you misunderstand, that you misunderstood. So I want to, um, one, clear up one primarily. We want to miss, several I want to misunderstood. I, I, and I knew it, you know, I, I said, I know Jamaicans and God. And once Jamaicans hear certain things, they just tune out the person, you know. But I'm getting to that. So I'm going to just clear up. What I realized was a main confusion with um, a bunch of you. And then I'm just going to give you the context of what I think is happening with her. And we are somehow on a, on a here. I, I said different things and um, they were disjointed to you and you, you you didn't get the connection between the different things that I was saying in relation to her. So the first thing I want to clear up is when she said, a great many of you sim um, misunderstood her when she said she was sympathizing with the devil. And it's, it's just, a, it, you know, in, in a Jamaican cosmology in terms of how we're raised and and even if you're not a diehard Christian or, or whatever, um, for many of us, just the notion that God um, represents good and the devil represents bad, you know, and we're aware of um, Satan worshippers out there and all these things and whatever, 
you know, for us, it's just fundamental that, um, you know, you, you know, if you're liking the devil, something is wrong with you, right? But um, I think um, uh, many of you misunderstood her, right? And the way you misunderstood her was that, you know, you know, she was basically saying that, remember, the devil was in heaven, you know, before the devil was thrown out of heaven, right? And that God was um, was the one who threw the devil out of heaven. And God, you know, denounced and condemned the devil for the devil's beliefs and, and, and the devil's principles and all these things and whatever. I remember now, and I'm going to explain this other part, but remember, she was saying that... Um, Based on what happened to her, um, in particular the sexual abuse when she was a child, and based on how she was raised and how she viewed God, you know, she found reason to be angry at God. And in being angry at God, <coughs> she feeling that natural anger to God, but at the same time, the way we understand God is you can't be angry at God. You're rude, you know. It's blasphemous to be angry at God and to have a disagreement with God and think So that is where the parallelism was, you know. She's like, she was basically saying, I can understand how the devil would be in a position where, you know, <laughs> you know, the devil was questioning God because I am in that position too where, based on the sexual abuse that happened to me and and the and the different things that were outgrowth of that and you know her struggle to try to um you know come to terms with that and it's and and the results and the consequences from that you know she said she she's you know she has gone through phases where she was being angry with god and 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 when you say angry with god people don't Think that she's saying she hates God, or that, that, that's not what she's saying. See, that anger with God is is equivalent to what many of us do. To you, probably don't realize you do it, but you do it. There are times when we have gotten in that "why me" zone, being sorry for ourselves when things happen to us, and we're like, "God, why me? Why are you making this happen to me?" We have all been there in some way. Right, we have seen, we have been in situations where really nice, wonderful people will see them suffer, and we see terrible things happen to them, and then we see wicked, evil people out there, you know, living what appears to be happy lives out there and whatever. And 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 a great many of us, we we like why, you know, my mother was a devout Christian, a Christian, you, my mother was unwavering in her commitment to God and whatever, but my mother suffered from cancer and died basically, she was 40 years old when my mother died, you know, and um, I've seen a lot more people, um, you know, terrible, awful people live very different lives, long lives and whatever, and so many of us have been there where we question, you know, God. <laughs> or we question what we're taught of God. Let me share something with you. Um, years ago when I was in Jamaica, and trigger warning, so be careful. So years ago when I was in Jamaica, there was this, this woman left her house and... Um, with her kids at home, and and, uh, and um, she's a single mother, and she went out to get food for them and so forth, and and apparently the 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 lamp turned over, and and, and there were babies there, and uh, some older children and whatever, and and um, unfortunately the fire consumed them. And um, <clears throat> the 
being someone who was raised in a Christian home, I was raised, you know, my this is Christian. I went to church every Sunday. I heard to, there was a time I went to church three times on a Sunday. It's morning service went there. There was a time when they kept Sunday school in the afternoon, and then we went to evening service three times on a Sunday. So, and you you and you left church, and we, we lived in Olympic where you go, man. You take the eight bus, and you go all the way back to Olympic when you come back. Like we were so committed, you know. So church is like a you know was um, huge with me, and with church is this uh, worldview, you know, of God, you know, and that, and I struggled with that. <clears throat> I remember struggling with that, like. Why would God sit down and watch an infant, you know? And I remember rem them times that we'd still have strike matches. You remember, look at comment box of matches. Eh? So I remember a couple of times the strike matches and the fire burn you and how hot it was. And then just trying to understand how, you know, a helpless infant, a baby, two babies, you know, why would God just sit and watch that? You know, so in my, in the infancy of my understanding of some of these things, that, that was rough for me, you know. Some of you are going to remember this story. You remember when a woman was taking her three young kids to school in St. Thomas, crossing the road, and a car, one of them dirty road taxi man that would drive, well, he never do it deliberately, but just driving carelessly and negligently. Not going in any details, but the three children, that mother, she's pulling her three children across the road and the car, you know, destroyed the three kids right in front of the mother. One, the kids were gone. The mother mad. She just mad out. Like, you can't even begin to imagine that. You know, like, a mother seeing her three kids just taken away in a most brutal and horrific manner. And whatever. That was rough for me, you know. And I remember carrying it, or, you know, just expanding my reasoning about it and saying, you know, you have families who are more secure and they didn't have to be in, they don't have to be in a position where you know they have to be hustling with their kids and a busy dangerous thoroughfare and and so forth and i remember thinking like oh so god don't like rich people <laughs> you know let like me just take it to art you know and it's just like rough and thing but if you weren't raised with God being infused in you in that way, it, it's a non-issue for you. It's a non-issue for you. But I can tell you. Oh, Java knew who I was talking. So Java said she has two more kids now. Bless her, bless her, bless her. So yeah. Java, you know, you know what I'm talking. Yeah, because you're from St. Thomas, so you know. Yeah, this was a long it's a long time ago, you know, and it was just awful. I mean, I tell you, it mashed me up, man. Mashed me up like like, cause, cause, you know, I, 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 tell, I tell you, I'm an empath, you know, so I, I, I am very um, empathetic and I've learned to control it. But, um, you know, before, it, you know, I would see these things and they would just mash up my head, man. And then I'm also a thinker, you know, so I would, you know, I would just like think on these things for a long time. And, and, and it took me years to reach a point where... You know, I understand it that in a certain way, which I'm not going to get into. That's my personal journey. And that and that is how I understand what God is, you know, and what works for me, and I'm in a better place now. But the point I'm making is that be careful how you judge the caller yesterday just by what appears to be a flippant way in which he said it, because um um, from what I heard from um, several of you, you were decontextualizing what she was saying, and uh, and, and 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 she's articulate, but 
she, you know, she, as as many of you realize, she can move from one thing to the other real quick. But they're they're all really tied up, you know. But you have to be, you have to be listening carefully and paying attention. And frankly, you have to um, have some understanding of certain things to um to understand her, which is um not something the average lay person has. So she will speak in a way where you isolate different things that she says, but they're really not isolated. They're all connected. And um, so when you hear her said like, you know, she sympathized with the devil, in no way was she saying she loved the devil. And, and, and if you were listening carefully, you would realize she's not about that. Because in fact, that one reference to the devil that she made, what I found equally um, revealing, and like again, we're in a counseling session with her, I would go down that those roads with her. Is that usually you know, it, like uh, everybody has a worldview. You all do. <laughs> I do. You do. Everyone of you do. And a worldview is a way is your way of understanding the world, and underpinning worldviews is you have a formula for cause and effect um, explanations. Everybody does. Everybody, you've been taught that. And what you've been taught, you as you get older, you pick out some stuff and you reject others. But everybody has a way of understanding the world. And in that way of understanding the world and the component parts that make up that way, Embedded in that, you have a way of explaining cause and effect in the world. So, when something happened, you have some way of explaining. The reason why that happened is because so and so and so. And those body of knowledge and body of explanations, they are diverse and, you know, all over the world. People explain the world in different ways. Somebody who live in the jungle may have the God of the trees or something or whatever. Uh, some place who is dependent on rain, you know, they may like rain is so important. We need to do a cultural rain dance to the rain gods. So people explain stuff differently and they, you know, and if this is dying, it's like, okay, you know, the rain God is mad at so-and-so because we didn't, we need to make a sacrifice to the rain God and, and they may come up with something you don't agree with. And, but, you know, but that's their way of explaining the word. You have your way of explaining the world. But when she was talking, when, when Jamaicans talk, there's a dichotomy of God and Satan, right? right? Jamaicans were really strongly in their faith. In general, it's, it's, it's kind of oversimplification, but in general, to, in order to facilitate comprehension on your part, just to have you understand, in general, Jam you know, Jamaicans, anything good happen is God do it, right? Anything bad happen is the devil do it, right? My mother was a classic with that, you know? You know, anything good, you hear. You know, the typical Jamaican thing, even African-Americans, it's like, God is good. You know, there's a thing on the internet now from Jamaicans, like if something good happens, look at God, look upon God works, God is good, right? You all know that, right? That Jamaican, that's, that's how Jamaican, right? and if something happens, I say, you know, there's a signature phrase from Jamaica, Satan Trang, you know? <laughs> right? It's like tens of thousands of Jamaicans we say. From it bad is the devil. <laughs> From it good is God. To the point where they're so compartmentalized that they even contradict them. what but that is where somebody like my thinking comes in, you know? Like um, I tell you, like when the gunman go for kill one family and them go in and them kill a mother and a father, shoot them, kill them, you know. Um, this happened in Bull Bay. And, um, and after them kill them you now, the, the, the mother, mother, right, the, the grandmother, grab up the two kids. Yeah. And the gunman go over to kill them too. And the gun stick. And I remember all of Jamaica was just like, 
Boy, God, goody, man. Look, God is so good. Look how God made the gun stick. God made the gun stick. And I'm, and I'm sitting here listening. Everybody was, you know, in celebration that, you know, God is good. And I'm like, but what happened to the mother and the father, you know? And then when you ask a couple of people, like, you know, they will tell you stuff like, well, you know, God work in a mysterious way, you know, his wonders to perform. You don't know whether a mother and a father they could have did in a in a rug. <laughs> you know, like, you know, God explained it in some way, you know. Like that's why God made them go in. You know? And I was like, Yeah, yeah. But these things happen, right? The God and, and the devil, you know, it's all over the world. But if you listen to Carla yesterday, separate from the instant when she re re referred to um, Satan and saying, you know, sometimes, you know, sometimes you have to just sorry for Satan. She never mentioned Satan again after that, you know. And that is significant. Because right through the whole on and off, it was God, 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 and terrified of God and angry at God, but thankful to God for saving her. And he, you know, you know, you know, this back and forth that she kept going into. Who? <laughs> Who is talking about God? Right? And they put God, God, God. And then talking about hell, 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 hell. And Eva said. They went to hell. She said she literally went to hell and she said she was there alone. The devil is not there. She was there alone. That is significant from her. In that it wasn't even like a God and 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 and, and Satan thing. What's really going on with her issue is with God. You know? The devil is not even united for her, you know. Her issue is with God. And if you understand what she is struggling with and grappling with in her unconscious her trauma will make sense you, you, you when you're counseling you are armed with um, tools that you learn you know theoretical frameworks and different interventions that you learn to um, understand what people are doing but one of the things they drum in you is that yeah, you have that, but don't impose that on a client. Never do. You, you have to understand the client from the client's perspective. That is one of the hardest things to do. People, people, people can't even do it in general, you know? You know, they, they will say, you know, walk in my shoes. It, it's, it's the hardest thing to understand somebody's pain and hurt and what they have gone through and the impact it had on them and so forth. But again, it's just very significant that she did not it wasn't about Satan. She's not. Her con, if you listen to her, her concern is not, oh, the devil did this to me, or Satan did this to me, or whatever. She pretty much never said anything at all. Her thing was with God. And then once you understand where the source of her trauma, remember, you know, when she's going through all these things and she started out by saying she's having some spiritual fights or some spiritual issues to resolve and whatever. And and she's going through all these things. I had my counselor at on, and you know we know about you know about presenting problems, and that the presenting problem could be the facade for an actual problem. So when she's going through all this stuff about you know problems that she's having with God and whatever, if you recall, at one point I said, and I deliberately did not use any language to suggest that I'm referring to any specific type of trauma. I said, you remember I said, is there like something really traumatic that happened to you or something really bad happened to you at any point in your life? You know, did something really bad happen to you and whatever? Broad. She was the one who responded right away and said, yeah, as a child, I was, um, you know, she explained it her way, but you heard what she explained, that she was um, sexually abused as a child in the car by that man, that grown adult man, when she was about six. A 
for people, nobody wants to be hurt or, you know, or to be abused. Nobody, man or woman, don't want that. But it's particularly important for women, you know, you know, security and safety and things like that. It, it, it's on a next level for women, you know. Some men, I don't want really to think this and think that. Oh, so we're not people to and whatever. Yeah, I, I, I get that. But safety and security <clears throat> it is really, really important for women on another level. You know, I've, over the years, I've, I, I have given examples of this when I was learning it and thing. And, you know, I told you when years ago, long time, a friend and I were walking out of a building and she stopped right at the door before she go out and just ruffling in her bag. She had to find her keys. And I'm like, then come no, and just go and look for your key. And she's just like, no, I got to find. And she was just right at the door and would not come out. And being a man, I didn't get it. And I was like, so why you don't just come out and keep the way you have to stand up there? So come to me, go and walk. And, and she's like, no. I have to. And then I noticed like, it, it, you know, I was being insensitive. I didn't realize I was being sensitive, but I was. And I was like, whatever. And, and she was just like, no, I have to find. I have to get my key first before I go out. And whatever. And then I was like, well, I don't want to apologize. I, I didn't, you know, I really didn't. And she was just like, no, it's just automatic for us women. We, we have to be prepared before we go out on the road. It's a security issue. We have to, I have to know where my key is before I step out. And go out in that jungle where anything can happen and I have to find the key first. You know? So it's stuff like that, you know? Like for women, security is important. And then now for her, remember now, so she's raised with this understanding of God and God's power and the goodness of God. And that God knows things before they happen. And that God will protect you. And what she's struggling with is that she believes in the goodness of God, but why wasn't she protected? Not only was she female, she was a child. A young child and you know one of the most terrible form of um you know a violation occurred and and he her you know you know religious word um you know she was uh she's still struggling to resolve that and 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 some of the things what she does is, as you realize, she's articulate. She's she's a very articulate woman. So, what she came up with is, is there are times when she feel like she has figured it out. She has figured it out, because again, remember, she has a worldview, a way of explaining things the way she was raised, and that worldview is heavy with in the spiritual realm in terms of explaining why things happen. So when you listen to her, you hear she explained everything in a spiritual way. And you know, I was telling her that no, you you probably need to, you know, get some help in balancing that out in, you know, a, a real, you know, in, a, in terms of what happens outside of the spiritual realm. But she explained everything spiritually. And and part of when women go through stuff like that they cope in different ways you even know when women are abused they just want to shower like for five hours you know and it's this cleansing thing and it's not literally that you know the body is not done it's psychological it's mental it's like a cleaning thing they just feel dirty and violated and and terrible and and and, and stuff like that when things like that happen and and there is a helplessness that comes with it that that angers women and and that um and some even start thinking like, well, what what did I do wrong? You know, where, where did I go wrong to cause this to happen to me? And they start wrong wrongly, blaming themselves too. You know, and then you have you live in a society too where, 
you know, you hear this thing and then, but you know, you know, they blame the victim all the time with these things. So there's all these things that goes on in women's head with that stuff and whatever. So she has um, come up with an explanation from her worldview. And then you hear what she, you hear that the multiple instances when she talk about demons. Right? And, um, but then she said she saw the man who did it to her after. And she said, yeah. And when she said, God did a work on him. And when I pressed her, what that means? She said, that man wasn't in a good place and whatever. He made him look mash up and him look like him life in a shambles and whatever. And she said, see, God is working on him, right? And she said, basically, God are punishing for what him do, right? And then, you know, I in turn, realizing that I was trying to get her to appreciate the non-spiritual realm. So, I, you know, so I said, like, so so God punished him for what he did, but God didn't stop him from harming you as a six-year-old little girl and things like that. And, um, you know, she didn't answer that too well, you know, as um, many of you would have realized. So she's in a position where she thinks, at times, she thinks she has explained it. It's like she understands it. She just, because remember, she said, how does one move from dealing with demons to being normal? You know, that was a question. So, so for her, the demons, there's no debate there. She has figured that out, according to her. The demons are real. Uh, but she said, like, how do you know functioning in a normal world, given that the demons are real? And again, this is her coping mechanism. Right? She hasn't resolved it. So there are times she thinks she has. and But the fact that she has it, it will come up back on her and it obviously is impacting her in some ways and whatever. And when it comes up back on her, she's she's again back in that spiritual realm trying to explain it and, 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 and resolve it and thing. And it, you know, it never quite comes out in a way where, you know, she can like said, oh, done. I understand it now. Fully, fully, fully. Because at times when she thinks she understands it, that's one time. But then there's unresolved stuff there with her, obviously. And, and that will come back up and as proof that, no, you haven't understood it. <laughs> you think you have. And um, this thing where you're doing, where you think it has to be explained spiritually and that's it. That's not it, you know. I, you know, I know that's not it, you know, and that is what she's struggling with. So here you have she experienced this um, sexual abuse at six year old. She wasn't protected, and from her standpoint, she's angry at God because God didn't protect her. But at the same time, she believes in God, and she see where God has punished the man. So you see, there's this back and forth type of thing where. You know, God is good here, but God wasn't, you know, where were you, right? And then now, from that experience, because what we do as people, you learn something, and whether you're aware of it or not, you apply what you learn. Most people do it unconsciously or subconsciously. They don't know what they're doing. But we apply what we learn, you know. Um, and most of the time it's unconscious, but there are times it's unconscious, like, we will grow with our relatives and we'll apply what we learn unconsciously. But then, and we, we go to our teenage years where we we reject our parents' teachings and this and that and whatever. And then as soon as we have children <laughs> or whatever, we revert, consciously revert back to what we learned from our parents. Well, this is how my mother did it, you know, and this is how my dad did it. And, and I saw and so did we go on and it never killed me. So it was good for you and see me turn out. All right. So we consciously apply what we learn. But she's doing that now. But but she's doing that in the spiritual realm. So she's just perennially in the spiritual world trying to figure out these supernatural constructs over in the spiritual world, right? That is where she's explaining everything. And in doing so, she applies it to other things. This is so so when I was talking to some of you um yesterday, this is the part, another part that was a little bit confusing for some of you. So 
she was sexually abused at six year old, she said, but she remembers vividly what happened and that had an impact on her. And she has these ambiguities about what God's role was, you know, in terms of why that was allowed to happen to her, you know, good and bad. So you remember when she was talking about the drowning and she went into all that detail that she was in the pool and she lost her tube and she was reaching out for another tube and then this other child was like, no, you're not getting my tube and then she was sinking and thing and whatever and she sunk to the bottom of the pool. Remember when she explained that? And she said she was just lying there at the bottom of the pool. People, that's significant, you know, like, that's like death, like death's door. So again, it's like one of her most vulnerable moments in her life, you know, like she was at death's door. You notice after she turned that she just remember when she's lying on the bottom of the pool and she made some reference to God when she's at the bottom of the pool. And you know, when she then she explained that God reached out his hand to help her. So there it is again, you know, God is being good. God is being there for her to help her. But then right after that, what she said, she said, you know, she just explained and said like, you know, yeah, you know, was a little bit precocious or rude or whatever because I started arguing with God like, where were you? We, we were you, where were you, where were you, where were you, where were you type of thing again. So it's that back and forth thing again for her applied from the incident with the sexual abuse now being applied with the drowning. So it's like, where were you? I'm, I'm drowning. I'm at the bottom of the pool. And well, I'm glad you're reaching out your hand to help me now. But where were you? So she's she's still explaining it's spiritual. And then when I pressed her a little bit, she was just like, oh yeah, there was um, some man took me out to the water and, you know, he was applying, you know, resuscitation or whatever. And she just glossed over that. And again, that is the real world thing, you know, and she was just like, oh. so somebody saved her, <laughs> somebody saved her and um, whoever saved her, you know, they did mouth to mouth resuscitation. They did stuff to revive her and, and stuff and whatever. Right. Blessed said, she said she saw the light, you know, people when they're about to die, they see that light thing. That's real, by the way. And um, but somebody saved her. But she's not even focused on the person who saved her. Her thing was like God, you know, she's still talking about God. She's still in the spiritual realm. Again, she's applying, you know, stuff, you know, at another point where she was vulnerable and abused and, and somebody with their power exerted that power and took advantage of her. And now she's in another vulnerable position and so forth and thing. But what she has learned all her life is about God and thing. At no point she said anything about the devil, dear. You know, her thing is about God. It's about God. It's God. God, God, God. She's up on the right. She's she not blaming Satan for everything. She's not even paying attention to the, the man who, who saved her too much. And thing. She's like, what was God doing there, you know? So she applied that stuff over. You remember when she said she was dating the man, right? She, was, she had a boyfriend, a man who she dealt with. And she's very clear and repeatedly say he had a license firearm too and whatever. And she's watching the movie, Bruce Almighty. And the movie, you know, Bruce Almighty is about, you know, God, you know. And something in the movie triggered her to go back to this thing, uh, you know, with like, God, is God there? Yeah, God is good, but... um. You know, like she said, she had these problems with God. And, he, you know, she's angry at God. And she said that, but she's just terrified about going to hell. This is what she learned. That's what she learned in church. This is what we all learn in church, you know, about heaven and hell. You know, is he they going to go to heaven? Is he they going to go to hell? She said it explicitly. She doesn't want to go to hell. And her worst nightmare came to her one point. She said, I was in hell. She said, I was in hell alone. How terrible can what terrible can that be? To be in hell alone? You don't even have the devil there with you. You alone? That you must be so bad, so bad that you end up in heaven alone. Can you just manage? Imagine what's going on in a psychosis, you know, with somebody with that. And, you know, you end up in heaven alone. The worst place you want to be, you end up alone. So, you know, so attached with that, there's some. You know, she you, you, your feelings of guilt. She mentioned it. She, you know, like, you know, the struggle that um 
people go through when they're trying to resolve why did this happen to me? Was it something I did wrong? Was it something I did to deserve this and whatever? You get caught up in this thing. Am I being punished for something I did wrong and whatever? Why God never protect me and type of... So she's struggling with that. But she's with a man now. She says, as a license for him, she's watching a movie with him. The movie triggers something in her for her to say that the demons them rise up now. Because what she's dealing with, you know, she hasn't resolved it yet. And some people, these things happen to them. People have been abused and they cope with it in different ways. Other people cope with it in ways that result in them struggling more. So the demon them rise up again. And what she said, the demon said, one of you have to die between she and, and, and the man who she did there with. And she said, but him have a gun. So she said, him may a kill me. Him may end up kill me, you know. And she said, in thinking that he might end up killing her, the anxiety and whatever, so for days, she not sleep, and she's, she's just like, you know, because the demon them say, one of them have got dead. So she said, one of them have got dead and thing and whatever, so he might go kill me and whatever. And again, you know, sidebar, she is talking about her fear right there. But, what she was talking about, and I didn't go there with her because it wasn't the purpose of her calling me. She called me for me to be there for her. Uh, um, but she don't fully appreciate what her boyfriend might have been going through. In her mind, the demon said, one of I forgot dead. So he may kill me with him lies a gun. But that man might be worried too. That man might have been worried like, suppose she kill me when me asleep too. So he, he must have been relating to her in some way, you know, where, you know, where the two of them are going down the rabbit hole. I don't know. I'm just assuming. But I'm saying, I'm not so sure she understood the impact of, uh, of what that may have been having on him. I'm keeping it real with you. You know, hear me tell you all the while. I can't deal with a woman where, where me don't feel comfortable for say, if me and I have a disagreement, me can't, jump, me can't be safe if me drop a sleep you know, It's just a natural thing, you know? We don't know whether a man that me, me did have got through to when she had about the demon and him said, one away after dead, right? Because if you say the demon and him said, one away after dead, and you think so me may shoot you with my life's a gun, you might be compelled to kill me first because the demon and him said, one away after dead, and you think so you are going dead, and think so you may kill me when me asleep and all that thing there. You understand? So somebody, another person will be like, yo, I don't know if I want to be here in this relationship. I don't know if I can manage this. This person is different. You know? Then when, you know, remember when she talked about her work, and she has said, yeah, but the whole of them, grandma, everybody grandma upon me and then have me fired. I'm going to ask her, do you talk about these things at work? Yes. Yeah. And yeah. And um, and she used, you know, she got a little defensive and she said, well, my boss, you know, is a gay woman. And I told her that God loves her and whatever. This. But there's more than that. You all know, right? Because she speaks freely. right? And she talks about these things and whatever. And I guarantee you, her co-workers, they must have been scared of frigging hell. They must have been like, yo, this woman may come here one day and just go postal on us, American term, and whatever, you know. So they, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if they all felt unsafe. But to her, you know, when she's talking about these spiritual things, it's harmless, you know, to her. You know, she's like, she thinks she's just talking about facts and this is what it is and whatever. But what she doesn't appreciate when people are hearing somebody talk about, oh, the demons are speaking to me. And the demons say, one of us must die. We, we're like, what the f she don't really appreciate that, right? So I'm sure those employees was like, you have to get rid of her. You have to get rid of her. And I'm sure the supervisor were like, we can't just fire her like that. They're legal deal and that. It's unfair. And we can't just this and that. I'm sure they went through those ruminations and those deliberations and those anxieties and all that stuff and whatever, you know? Um, and finally figured a way to, to oust her. And um, she also explained that... Um, you know, she was sent to, you know, the psychiatric facilities and, um, you know, detained there for a while. But again, that thing where, you know, the demon them come up and thing and that vulnerability where she, she had this anxiety where she feel like, 
you know, somebody's going to do something to her. You see the parallels again, you know, the same pattern being applied, but expanded and differentiated in, in, in ways from when she was abused as a child, but still there's a common narrative holding it all together. So they, they look like separate things that she's talking about, but they're not really separate. There is continuity there. You know, if you pay attention to the similarities in the story, so each, each account is different. And she went into the dream again. Right? And when she said, and there was two, she said there was two distinct times when God directly reached out to her. And in both instances, when she said God directly reached out to her, they weren't entirely positive. They had positive elements, but they certainly had negative elements to reflecting her angst and her continued struggle with um, understanding, you know, what she was raised with, you know, in terms of who, what, what is God, who is God, how God works. And, um, and the reality of the world. And again, I'm saying to you is that that is something a lot of us do. A lot of people don't think about these things. They just keep it. They, what most people do, most people keep them separate, you know, the real world stuff and God thing, right? And when they're relating them to each other from the worldview, they don't bring them like this. They keep them separate. But when it's convenient and whatever, they say, oh, the reason why this finger is is because this one over here, the spiritual one, so and so. If, if you understand what I'm saying. So this is how most people work. Most people think. They, they, they don't, you know, so there are times when they will be over here alone. And, you know, most people, there are times when they're over here and they're not thinking about God, you know. <laughs> So now you're having a nice meal. You're, you're, you're not thinking about God. You were thinking about God like before when you say your grace. But most people, when they give thanks for the food, spiritual, when they don't give thanks, they're no longer in the spiritual, right? Most of us, when we give thanks for the food, we give thanks. But then while we're eating the food, we're not like, thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. It was really nice of you, God, to give me this food. Thank you. No, no, we're not in the spiritual realm anymore. <laughs> we, we are eating the food. Damn. When I'm seeing that chicken, that good eat, it look like I'm putting too much oregano up on this. We're in, the, we're in the literal world over here. After this, right? Right? She's always over here, though. <laughs> always. Always. And that is where her issue is so we in you know people who are you know who were raised in spirituality and so forth you know we we do that thing you know right and when you contextualize even when people are having sex and they're like oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god we're really not thinking of god in fact i would think it would be rude to be thinking of god when you're about to have an orgasm you know we don't do that Right? When you're done, you may say, Bomba, God said no woman here for me, you know. Yo, that they turn up or whatever. So we 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 function in both spaces, but we, we we don't lock ourselves over in the spiritual thing. Right? You know, if we're walking down the road and we're still like said, Jesus, God, the man I look like him, I'll stab me and this God protect me. We call on God. But most of us, we don't, you know, we don't think that, you know, we it's still separate, right? In fact, you have people who believe in God and would never, ever, ever um, denounce God. But if somebody put a gun in their head and say, said that there is no God, you have some Christian who are like, there is a God, and if you kill me, you kill me. But there are other people who are going to be like, okay, there's there's no God. And then you get to live and you, you say, God forgive me, but you know, I did have to say that for the boy and not kill me and things like that. We do that. You know, people do that. They We manage the spiritual world and the um, outside world. She is primarily in the spiritual world and she doesn't come out of that. 
and the way we will explain things in the natural world and we would say yo i want wicked woman that man <laughs> you know i want dirty man that i want teeth in boy that or uh, whatever she can't really use those terms in the spiritual world where there is good and bad and what she end up doing now is talking about demons And um, what would be helpful to her, it's okay to think, you know, that if that works for you, to, you know, to say if demons are at work. But at some point, you have to be able to function with some understanding. Your worldview or your cause and effect explanations or you, you know, in life, all of us deal with the four W's and the H. In life, all of us deal with the four W's and the H. Where, when, what, and the most important W, why, and the H, how. We all deal with it. Now, I won't bore you with some scholarly stuff but there you know there's scholars out there who would say like it's all about the what once you can accurately define what the thing is you know the other three w's and the h you know comes out of it i i i you know there is contestation there and debate there but what me i am the why person i think the why is that works for me you know, if I get the why, I can un I can function with everything else. But not everybody's like that. Right? But if I can get the why, so much so that sometimes when I don't get the why, you know, it used to drive me crazy. I've learned now to just you know there's some whys that you just won't get, you know. <laughs> you just you're just not gonna get it, you know. And um, you, know, you get older and stuff like that. So I've learned to just humble myself and don't think, yeah, you're not going to know everything, Raga. Calm down. You know, leave it alone. <laughs> but I would get, before I'd be obsessed, you know. It's like, my thing is, I can handle anything. I, I swear to you, I can handle anything. The worst of the worst, I can handle it. As long as I have a sense why this thing occurred, right? But that's just me. That's just my little thing, right? It, it, it doesn't matter what it is, you know. I have if for me, why did a person behave like that, you know? And then once I have a, one, I would struggle with it, Auntie, but once I you know why they did, I'd be like, okay, I don't have to like them. I, I, I don't have to, it doesn't have to be a problem that was solved or whatever, but at least I know why it happened, you know. Um, but others would say it's the how, you know. Because for her, you know, she's in that how. This is how you do it. It's a spiritual realm, you know. And um, so she still, you know, explained the why. But for her, the why, you know, is not like the way I view the why or other people would view the why. I know I'm sounding somewhat um, um, excessively intellectual here. But just, just so you know that there's some of those things that's going on um, with her. You know, on a fundamental level, but that when we experience certain events in our life that are consequential or highly influential or that had just like a resounding impact on us, we sometimes consciously, but most of the time we unconsciously apply what we learned from it. Now, most of the time what we learn, we don't, we're not even aware of it. It's just deeply embedded in us that when something else come up, we just automatically invoke it and operationalize it, you know? And, and, and that is what she's doing primarily in the spiritual realm. And it, it, it's, it, I, I believe it's one of the most difficult things in this world when somebody is entrenched in a spiritual realm where 
the principles there are absolute, absolute, non-negotiable. It's the hardest thing to get that person to appreciate and or see alternate explanation. People of faith, deep, deep, deep down in their faith, where the faith dominates their worldview and their explanation of events in the world and people behavior and so forth in the world. It's the hardest thing to even to get them to be pragmatic, to be practical, to even function like how many other people who still believe in God function. <laughs> Where, you know, they they engage in a constant dance between the spiritual world and the literal world, but they you know, they they don't get caught up, you know, and just locked only in the spiritual world, you know. They you know they still understand things in the secular world and in, in with secular terms and secular principles, you know, with non-spiritual principles. And and that, you know, affords them the skill set, you know, to function in that space and to be successful and to and to and to optimize, you know, their you know, their conduct and, and their behavior in ways that um you know can be helpful and healthy. You know, but it's people who are locked in the spiritual world, you know, those people, you know, those are the people who can't even enjoy sex, you know. I'm serious. Right? They, I know people who are so in the spiritual world, like so entrenched in the spiritual world, when they experience the natural, pleasurable, impact of you know intimacy they experience the worst guilt yeah you have people like that and they try to suppress it because they, you know, you're not supposed to they, they, what they learn is that in the spiritual world it's uh you know where it's god 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 that that that, that type of pleasure as nothing, it should not be in the same space as God or whatever. No, somebody like me disagree. I think like if God sees his creation having great sex, God is like, go on, send on the back as pan him. Yes, go on, my child, do your thing. Look back upon him. Now look at her enjoying it. That's why you're happy. Ah, good. That's what you're supposed to be happy. That's why I think God is. But you know, what I'm just saying, you have these people, they don't think that way. You know, they're like, no, God business is serious business, and thing, you know. So uh, different explanations and so forth. But if you're locked over there in the spiritual world like that, you know, you know, things are very difficult. And then if you're somebody like her now, where you're locked over here in the spiritual world, where you want to explain everything in the spiritual world, and you just want to use spiritual construct, you end up, you know, giving a lot of power to demons and giving a lot of power to these spiritual entities. Remember, when you're in the spiritual world, you're in the supernatural world. Supernatural mean super, mean without, outside of the natural, right? That's what it means. It's a metaphysical world you're in right now. So you have the physical world and you have the metaphysical world. It's like, it's, it's the non-literal world, you know? It's that there are unseen forces you know that the spiritual world is like the wind that's the analogy i use the spiritual world is the wind and nobody sees the wind right but the wind is having an impact on the natural world for sure there's no doubt about that that's an energy there and that's powerful and when it has um monsoon qualities or hurricane qualities it can be so devastating and whatever when you're sitting under a coconut tree or a mango tree in jamaica and that cool breeze coming can be so comforting and seductive and soothing and so forth but nobody sees the wind but it's there you can't see it but it's there 
right? So the, the, the wind, you know, for is like a spiritual, it's like the spiritual world. But if you just live inside of the wind alone and whatever, it, uh, well, that's going to be a problem, you know. So I hope that helped to explain. And and, and when and, and and when I'm counseling somebody, there's a lot going on in my mind. There's tons of stuff going on. I may look calm or whatever, but there are tons of options that come up, and you you have to figure out which way to go. Or, you know, there are times when stuff may come up, and I'll be like, "Whoa, that's fascinating!" But it's not about me, <laughs> right? So I have to like put my fascination with this thing aside. Like I could learn something here. No, no, no. Put that aside and be like, "No, no. How is this going to help the client?" You know, and uh, you know. So I do that all the time. And yesterday was no exception. I was doing that with her, and um, and there's areas and things that. If we had a continuous counseling session that at some point I would be more challenging and carry her down a certain path for her to see things and, you know, hopefully to help her to see things and understand things in a certain way. Um, I did some of that l gently, um, laid down, you know, a discussion where I tried to get her out of the spiritual world and that is why I was saying to her that you know probably you know your therapist being a Catholic priest I think something like that she says like probably that's not the best person I don't know but because sometimes you do have um, priests who can be very practical too yeah <laughs> you do have um, religious people can be very very practical and 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 know and really good counselors and know how to get people to you know live by principles that are that are not irrationally grounded in some spiritual understanding of um, you know of life's events you know you do have um, pastors and preachers who are like that and priests who are like that. But uh, but just to the extent that um, she said that her counselor was a, 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 I think she said like a Catholic priest or something. You know, I, I think that, you know, she could be spiritual as much as she, you know, but she could be spiritual. There's nothing wrong with a person being a person of faith and thing like that. I'm aware that some people are more practical about the world and they say there's no God or whatever, a thing like that. Um, I don't think that would be the solution for her. You know, I think that um, just like you have millions of people in this world who are people of faith, but, you know, they're not so entrenched in their faith that you know they explain everything with um, faith based constructs and they function well out in society in different ways and they explain things in different ways that are not faith based or, 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 or spiritually based or church based or religion based <coughs> and thing and whatever and, and even when they do they will relate them, you know, across to each other and not some think and not think that they're one. Right? That is what most of us do who believe in God. Okay? We have these faith based constructs, supernatural constructs that are not necessarily religion either. Right, we do it, we are Jamaicans, we do it. We have the concept of salt. Salt is not spiritual, it's not religious, but it's conceptual. It, it you, when somebody salt in a Jamaican, you can't touch it. You it's an energy, it's a it's a quality <laughs> that we say the person has. But we're also saying it's a power that when disseminated or dispensed from the person that it impacts other people. So when I'm on a gamble and him start losing, turn around and say, yo, give me a what, no man. 
Give me a walk. You just stand up back a man and you see man and lose and all them stuff. They assault, man. Give me a walk, no man. And whatever. You understand? You know, you have people in a relationship and say, gee, yo, from the day with a woman there, you know, be a, hey, a, be a good luck, a follow me, you know, be a blessings that reach me, you know. Gee, you know, I'm not left the woman there, you know, whatever, you know, you, you know, you, have, you know, we say those things, you know. And they really come from our, you know, our, um, I don't want to knock anybody, but they really come from our ancestors in Africa where, unlike Western Europeans, we don't separate things as much. We, you know, Native Americans are like that too, like who people call Indians. You know, they there's a fundamental respect for everything, where everything is interconnected, where it results in an appreciation for everything. And it, it's less likely that um, people who think like that, you know, where everything is in interconnected, everything influences everything, um, that um, they, they, they're like systems people. Um, those type of people now, they, you know, they're more likely to respect the land, you know? You know, they're more likely, to, you know, like the native people, they're like, no, you don't, you know, you don't abuse the land, you know, you be thankful to the land. And then, you know, the land give you a gift, you know? And then when you get that gift, you know, you have to allow the land to replenish. So after we farm that area, we leave that alone and we go, they, they'll think like that. But, you know, they, so they have their supernatural ways, but it, it's not necessarily religious, you know. It's, it's just a respect for the interconnectedness of everything. And, um, you know, they're thankful to the three, to, to the to the tree and the fruits. And, you know, God gave us this man or whatever. We as Jamaicans, we talk like that. As opposed to other cultures where it's more exploitative, where it's like, no, we have to dig up the land and reap the land and extract value from the land. And when that done, we just dump it up and left chemical in it and whatever. And it's just like a different view of, um, you know, you know, of the world and thing and but mind you, you have to be careful of that, you know, because when white people came to America and the native peoples were here, and then the white people them come in and say, we're going to implement something called the law. <laughs> and um, I'm going to get a deed to the land and, and give it that I'm the first claimant under the law. I now own this land. The native people were like, what do you mean? <laughs> own the, nobody can own the land. So the native people were just like, oh, were they fool, you know? What do you mean own it? Nobody can own the land. You, you don't own the land. It was a different respect. <clears throat> but I am one of those people who would say, yeah. That is my worldview where nobody can own the land. But if you're coming in now and you have this construct now where you call the law and the deed and you're saying you own the land. So what does that mean? That I now have to come off the land? And that's what the white man said. Yeah, because I own the land now. So in my, in my supernatural construct, it's like nobody owns the land. Or the land is from God, and the land belongs to God, and whatever. Here's this guy saying that he has a piece of paper, and whatever, you know. So then, if you are permanent here, and whatever, then I may have to learn how to contest you to make sure that I have ownership over this land. But that's going to be difficult because I was raised that way. I there's the spirit, not spiritual, but there's the supernatural component there where I am viewing the land and this is how I was raised and in my cosmology my culture and whatever nobody owns the land you can't own land so I don't even know what you're talking about that world that you're in but then when they come in now and they say but okay we own the land and then when you know the white man said get off my land and I'm like what are you no I'm not getting off I've been here before you but I own the land I don't care what you own or what, well, get off my land. Wait, you going to shoot me? Yeah, because you're on my property. And that is how the whole concept of property and ownership of these things came in. 
and thing from um, the European, from the British legal system that came over here with the native people, to the point where where, they, where the native people you now were like, "No, what do you mean you're pushing me off?" So then they started fighting, and then of course the British said they're savages and them wicked and them evil and they're ungodly. Let's kill them off or whatever. And and there you had like, you know. Somebody engaged in empire building, somebody engaged in ensuring their survival, somebody engaged in building their wealth and whatever, who come up with some sort of worldly justification to, um, you know, to dominate you and to erase you and to get rid of you because they come up with an even their version of the supernatural where they said they're God's chosen people or something like that. And we say some of these dynamics playing out right now in the world. I'm not going to say anything about it because uh, that's a, a troublesome topic. And I, I, I get involved in it, but y'all know what I'm talking about. But um, those things, you know, like somebody come in and just claim your land. <laughs> the point I'm making, and how it ties into what I was talking about, you have, you know, there's nothing wrong with you functioning in the spiritual world. There's nothing wrong with you believing that ultimately it's all about the spiritual world, you know, that the spiritual world governs everything. But you cannot let, you cannot be so entrenched over here that you lose your capability to function in the natural world. Because you have people over here in the natural world who is just going to look on your beliefs and look at you as a damn idiot and say, well, it's easy to kill you. It's easy to descend at you. You know, in her case, the caller, well, let's just fire her because she can't function over here. Let's just get rid of her. Christopher Columbus is like, okay, these people are really nice and uh, they have these religious principles and things. Let's just rape all the women, slave all the men and whatever and things like, oh, we kill half the world and then, okay, let's go get some more from Africa. Right, I'm gonna say that man Eric Prince, who recently, you know, when him come out, the 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 Blackwater man or whatever, who is talking about literally openly saying that European nations need to invade Africa again and um, impose imperial order on Africa, come out and say literally openly, like whatever that European countries need to go and invade Africa. Why? At the same time he's making the argument to do that, he's giving examples of ways in which he has gone into Africa and have done work in the mining and have and, and you know have extracted significant wealth with companies and nations and whatever, you know, who want the wealth in Africa. And he's just openly saying, Let's just do this. Framing it in a way that Oh, they're not managing their country really good, and that's why the migrants are coming out and pressuring the European countries. Right? And it's no coincidence why he's saying it is because there are three countries in Africa that um you know that recently have come together and um and basically, you know, saying, Listen, you have um instituted um structures that have just sought to the, the perpetual rape of our country. You, you, you take out our, what, what do you call it? The, the way it named it for nuclear power, what France has been doing. We're talking about Niger, Burkina Faso, and um, the other country there, and whatever, and things like that. And then push out France and <laughs> and tell France that we'll work with you. But um, this thing, where you take the thing, you come here and you take all the resources from us and think, and you carry it over there, and it is. Um, you know, about eighty sitting a percent of it is um making is powering France's um electricity and giving it power, whatever, but ninety percent of our country don't have the same thing we can do for we and we're like, no. We need to work out something where something can go on for we and something can go on for you. They mean reasonable and thing, but um France don't want that. France wants to continue this thing where, you know, they you know, they they just Take out everything. France want to continue this thing where, no, only use our money. Right? Where, so if you want money, you have to come to we. 
for our money. So you're using our money in our country. And Ting Knights so of France want those infrastructure presence there that will continue to enrich them. But then France is openly saying, no, no, you need to keep your people there. You need to find some way to keep them there. Stop letting them come out of the country and try to come to France. And thing like where else are people going to go if you keep the country impoverished and thing like that and the people have no say and you tell them to them have to speak French and this and that and you have this French thing and whatever but the country is impoverished ninety percent of the country now have electricity and whatever they say where you think they're gonna go they're gonna go wait there right so when this Eric boy come out now and thing like that he's telegraphing to those countries like yo the the black people them might get bright again. And them are try to engage in this self reliance and want better for themselves. How dare we be like that, do no? And whatever. But you know, as usual, anybody read the book Animal Farm, you know what's going on. So it's like brute force now. And if them, you know, when them when them are get bright, we shut them down. It's the same game plan. So what I'm saying, it's nice to say, you know, you're in the spiritual realm, if you're in the supernatural realm or whatever. And thing like that. It's nice to be like that and whatever. And, and, and to say God is love and thing like that. But you can't say that too much and not understand that there are people out there looking at you and saying, Oh, you're over there. I said, God is love. Oh, you're less likely to fight if I go over there and whap your cross your head. Oh, you're going to follow the Bible and turn the other cheek. Okay. Oh, you know, you going, you're not going to pursue the wealth that is there in your land because you follow the Bible. The Christian Bible tells us uh, it's easier for a rich man to enter through the eye of a eagle than sitting on it and heaven or whatever. Yeah, yeah, you can't be so much over in the spiritual realm and this religious realm or whatever and not, you know, you know, it's fine. Believe in God, believe in love and believe in support and things like that. But there is a practical world out there that you also have to master in order to ensure your survival in order to to protect your offspring in order to protect your family in order to grow and to do well too you have to have that balance you can't be so much in the spiritual realm that it incapacitates you and renders you incapable of functioning in the natural world you're gonna lose and what I'm saying too is like the stories that I learned of Jesus, he wasn't like that. Jesus was very much active in the natural world. Jesus did a, Jesus prayed. Jesus prayed in the Garden of Gethsemane. Jesus prayed all the time. But Jesus was out there in the natural world. Jesus did busy. Uh, but Jesus draw a whip and beat people in a temple and think when I'm at disrespect a temple and thing like that. Do you think Jesus he just pray and say, Lord, let them come out of the temple because the temple is a sacred ground and they're being sacrilegious with the conduct in the temple. Jesus never does pray alone in the spiritual world. Jesus say, yeah, hear me? You know, so them people are out of order and them disrespectful, bad and all them. So it's right there in the Bible. Jesus get a whip and go in there and start bust ass and defend the thing. It's okay to believe in God. It's okay to believe, be spiritual as much as you want. It's okay to be whatever faith you are. Whether you're Seventh day Adventist, Presbyterian, Anglican, whatever. You still got to function in the, spirit, in, the in the practical world. You got to know the rules over there in the practical world. You got to be able to navigate them, negotiate them, exploit them, use them, you know, excel at them. And well. You know, and I, and I hope you see the parlors where the conversation went, you know, where my discussion went and where it started. And again, the caller yesterday, you know, she's excessively in the spiritual world. And she's struggling with stuff that happened to her and she's still, you know, she's trying to explain it solely in the spiritual realm. But there's a practical, non-spiritual world also you know that um would help her to better understand some of the things that happened to her and uh, 
And again, with these things, you don't necessarily reach a point where you're like, oh my God, I'm healed. You know, it's not really like that for you. You know, the goal is to get to a space where you're empowered, you know, where as much as possible you can be cleansed of the guilt, you can be cleansed of um, the hurt and the pain. We can you feel better about yourself based on what you understand from the natural world. And you can be in a better position, a better place than you were before when you experience your trauma. Because failure to get to that point will result in you recycling your trauma over and over again. You know, reapplying it in analogous situations. You know, where you're not resolving what needs to be resolved, but where you're not growing from what, you know, what you need to grow from, but you end up being in a position where you really caught in the circular whirlpool of, uh, you know, you know, repeating your trauma. You're repeating your trauma in a different context, you know. I hope that was helpful in some way. Um... And I wasn't going to, because this is heavy stuff, huh? And I wasn't going to go into it again. But um, I got um, enough responses um, from people yesterday that uh, spoke to me and said that um, perhaps, uh, uh, you know, some additional discourse on this could be helpful, you know, with respect to the caller yesterday who so graciously shared with us um, so much of herself and thing. My water comp... Hello? Hi, thanks for answering the call. This is B from Ready Be Fresh Water Delivery Service and this call is being recorded for quality assurance. Hey, I'm looking for Kingsley. I'm Kingsley. Hi there, Kingsley. So we just want to remind you that you have an upcoming delivery on March 12th. So that's going to be next week, Tuesday, and that's for eight bottles of the five gallon. Would you like to make some changes on your delivery? Uh, no, I'll just keep it like that. Understood. And also, Kingsley, we have a promotion for this month that if you add two more bottles of the five gallon, you're going to get two free cases of the 16.9 ounce water bottles. And also, we have this new product for your dispenser, which is the DIY or do it yourself cleaning kit that only costs $12.99. Would you be interested? Uh, no, I'd be fine right now with the eight bottles. You know, I'm on like a little system okay, right now, yeah, so the eight bottle just work fine for me, you know. Understood. Okay, no worries with that, Kingsley. And before I let you go, is it okay if I verify a few things here on your account? Um, sure. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Right, so this is, this, 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 hold on, hold on. This is the eight bottles of the five, the eight five-gallon bottles, right? Yes, that is right. Okay, yeah, so... So you say you want to verify what? Oh, your delivery instructions here. It says here that we have to deliver the water at the back, uh, at the back of your house. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. And for your um, communication preferences, the phone number and the email address registered here. So that's going to be 954-888-889. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's my email and that is my number, yeah. Okay, all right, you're all set on Tuesday. Thanks again for answering and thank you for choosing Ready Refresh. You have a great day. I'm so, what was your name? What was your name? Oh, it's B. B, okay. 
Thank you, B. It was really, uh -huh. really nice of you. Thank you for being so patient and nice to me. I appreciate it. No worries. My pleasure helping you out. But yeah, um, see you on Tuesday. Bye for now. All right, B. Take care. Bye. <laughs> My oh, God, people, do you see that? There is fun in everything. Everything is content as far as I'm concerned. Everything is content. Everything is fun. And everything is an opportunity to get a laugh. Where I got to live by? Laugh, learn, and grow. Laugh, learn, and grow. You know, honestly, you know, I tell you, you know, whether or not you're happy, if you think somebody's making you unhappy, you're wrong. And if you're making you unhappy. If you think racism is making you unhappy, you're wrong. If you think white people is making you unhappy, you're wrong. If you think that terrible man who you're there with is making you unhappy, you're wrong. If you think that terrible woman who you're there with is making you unhappy, you're wrong. If you think you're just so bored and there's no reason, there's no opportunities to be happy, you're wrong. <laughs> Everything is an opportunity to be happy. It, it, it's around you. It's it's what's going on here. You know. That is going to help you to be happy or not happy. And I'm not saying you don't you don't have down days. Of course, everybody have down days and whatever, but. Yeah, people who have down days, but they're still happy, you know? So I just want you to keep that in mind, all right? It's a goofball like myself, yeah, you know? Mr. Dogbite, how are you? Yo, John, I asked him again. No, you have to speak up a little louder. You know? <laughs> we can't hear you, we can't hear you. Mm -hmm. I'm serious. I like being a bee sound like a nice lady. Let me tell you, this is all your sound. Yeah, I like being a bee sound like a nice lady. Well, like yeah, like no, like you, you that that is all your sound. We're not hearing No, you. no. Yeah, I hear my mind. I just, you're, 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 you're used to me. Beat nice and all of a loudness. So I go, I don't know no, no, but, uh, no, no. I'm serious. We're not hearing. You're really low, dog boy. I'm serious. Uh, you sure? Yeah, no, no. Oh, this sound, this sound, this sound better now. This sound way better now. Like where I say. Can you um, hear me clearer now? I look a better, yeah, I look a better, yeah. Where I go? Yeah, I'm going to show it now, I think. So where I go? I know you deal with it. I'm a day, yeah, man. Yeah, see, I'm a good man. I travel, I like it. Enjoy yourself. You have fun. I'm going to hear what you just said. Yeah. Hold on, now. Yeah, you hear me? Are you hear me better now? Um, Hello? Yeah, go on, Yeah, yeah. If you hear me better, I'm not yes. going to come off. No, yeah, I hear you better now. Yeah, yeah I hear you better. Okay, I take off my headset. I don't have on my headset. Okay, okay. No, I say my, my love, the trouble you have on with him, Big Ben, and the bridge, you know, I mix up that bridge. Um... London Bridge, right? The bridge where them yeah, think yeah. is London Bridge is not London Bridge, right? No, right, exactly. Right, yeah. right. And what mm -hmm. you say about Big Ben? No, me, me not say Big Ben, man. I say I'm picture of Big Ben in my back door. Yeah, the, the, the clock. clock. Right, yeah, the clock, yeah. After them here, you tell, tell No, um, but me have to be careful with you, you know, because I know you love keep up the effort, you know. <laughs> yeah, you chat, but yeah, me see you take a picture with man. Big Ben on your back there, you know. No, nah, 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 big bed when I'm back in a dog bite because you know you're sneaking them way there. You are done brother, neatly because you love the arms out. You understand? No, no, no. I don't love no arms out. You're you a liar you now. And, and the people in the bathroom, I molest you. I demand you for sure. The people in the bathroom, I molest you. Oh, yes, I molest you. Dead, I <laughs> no. Yes, and lady like say, <laughs> when I run down line there, I teach you she did a drink something and she spit out everything you want to talk about. You know, I tell her, I say, we bed over the bathroom, she will go shoot up where water, where you never shoot up and yeah. frighten me. You understand? Yeah, 
Yeah, lie, you know, you must get drop some paperwork and show Yeah, the and so that show are there. For real. Bathroom, the show are violated. The show are violated. Yeah. Yeah, people say, yeah, 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 next week yeah you understand yeah. the people them ready i want to tell you say my for call back i'm java and bought something you know because um, java, you, you say i own him java yeah <laughs> oh, oh, oh java mirror okay java okay. mirror I no. was the lady with the boot, the boot yeah. band, the, with the boot band, the thing, the high heel boot. The lady with the what? The high heel boot, she has spun her profile. Oh, with the high heel boot, spun her profile. What are you know in her profile? No, man, they not everybody don't know so she has the high heel boot band, the name of the man. Right, the, yeah, 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 yeah. I want to hear, man. I look like you, go, you, you come back mad from England now. No, 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 man. She linked me and say like if she can ask me a question and but before she asks me, you know, if um she wants to just make sure so I mean, I'm not gonna mention it back. And, then why you bring it up? Eh? Then why you bring it up? No, because I am you I am generally I am the best person you ever talk to and for all things in confidence. So when she <laughs> said that, well on in general, when she said that though. You know, me um me say, well it depends. I did say to her that it depends, you know. And, say, mm. and and she said, No, she need assurance so I mean, I'm not gonna mention it back and thing and me say, No, it depends and she said, All right, she'll go take the risk and ask me anyway. So she was asking me like, you know, how me I go see. So why you bring it up? Do you know she what no, me no, why you why because me never give her no guarantee so me not did you know you <laughs> me say? Me never tell her so me not say nothing. I don't too many I too much. No, so, so, right, so she right. asked me how me I go season my fish when me I go cook, right? So oh, me say okay. at that you ask me. And things so I say, but why why would you even come up on her and say like if me I go say something to that? She just said no, because she have another question. And whatever. So she asked me if I can bring some seasoning for them because them not too really have the right Jamaican seasoning and them not really, you know, know if we cook certain things and whatever. So she asked me to help, you know. I just, I just want people to know. Women, you have to carry the right seasoning? Yeah, I don't know why I go with them, you know, but it looks like them have got through some sort of crisis over there with the cooking. So they turn to me to help them with the seasoning, you know. And thing uh, like I you know, me bring up some cheese. You know, so I mean, they go by. Me did last week. Me didn't hear the peck food farm, but me never me couldn't stop. Me make all arrangements to stop them. Uh, uh, stop the peck wood farm. The peck wood farm. The peck wood farm. Yeah. Don't want yeah, the farm. Me drive past it. Me drive. Yeah. Me drive. Me did about about. Tw- was part my stay for about two days. I was like half an hour from the farm. We you did that Jamaica. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, every month, I move all over the place. Yeah, man, I don't Yeah, yeah, well, your money turn up, you know, so you, you have nothing. It's not money. about money turn up, but I made it down there. I made it to link up with name there. Yeah. I mean, I was calling from the farm in the third show because I did tell him, I said, I got to read the machine. Um, one of the other ladies that found the show, but when I me, me get caught up, I mean, well, if I rain did fall, I couldn't get it, never get the name there. I mean, really want to be called from the farm. But I have some season. And we'll have a season down here, too. Right, so right. Them well, them gonna, them, 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 well, well yeah. the Antsness crew, them, them, them need seasoning, according to Java. Yeah, and, um, yeah man, yeah. And, yeah. Um, we have a place, um, a, a Caribbean place down from, um, yeah. from, um, from 50, yeah. near Kirkman. Right. Named Super. Well, if you could reach Super. out to them and thing and just offer, offer, yeah. offer, offer some assistance to them because they seem yeah, yeah. to She's not a problem. Any type yeah, of Yeah, they seem to be at a loss there and thing like that. So, and, oh. um, you know, for Them so undefeated in the cooking already and it not start. No, not defeated. And when she gets around to it and says, the real part now, what she know what I mention, which I'm obviously mentioning now, is that, um, mm. you know, them um, apparently, because oh. you know, Delmarine. Ball out today, so she want to join the crew, right? No, no, Del Marine not fit that crew there. No, me say that, but me I tell her, say Del Marine beg it out today. She beg, she beg yeah. to join the crew today. Del Marine, 
like oh, you know, no. she just sunk so low, you know, and she begged for yeah. join the crew, right? Delmarine begged, like literally begged for join the crew and whatever. Oh. I think I'm, I'm, I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, she even met up post and said she would pay for join the crew and whatever. So yeah. we're, we're, we're witnessing some desperation there, obviously. But yeah, um, but when apparently when them are sees, you know, them them them, them are fox season, you know, all of them. Mm-hmm. You, you know what that means? Mm-hmm. Them a fork and spoon season, you know? Yeah. The whole of them, when them a season up thing or whatever, all of them, every one of them, them, me don't know, they must have just so DNT and stush that when them a season, they only use fork and spoon when them a season. So they don't use them on. Well, me know, well, if that be the case, they might be with a perfect because she use spoon to make something. Right. Then I, no, but that's when I say, so the whole of them still, all of them, Antasha, yeah. CBS, Javamir, yeah. Pretty punchy and naki. All of them, when they are season yeah. me, at, at that job, pretty I tell punchy me. Pretty punchy can't cook. What do you mean pretty punchy? What pretty punchy you know about cooking? No, but we know. No, no, but not, no, no, pretty punchy you no know cook. Pretty punchy you no know cook. She, um, the porridge, a porridge she deal with and she boil, pack the boil stuff. No, 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 no. The comedy, you never listen to the show earlier. When pretty punchy make it porridge, I'm mad. I say it, it, it come out like yellow water. How would it right. Yeah, so yeah. our mother cook, our mother make it porridge and for our mother make it porridge. And oh. and I don't need to tell you, Delmarine family come on the show herself and tell we say, you know, what Delmarine post on Facebook, it was a Delmarine we cook it as she did there. Did, well, well yeah, yeah, she did, yeah, she you did remember that, our yeah. family said yeah, that? Yeah, she did tell, yeah, family, she did tell me. Yeah. yeah, our family said that. So so apparently now, every single one of them, them a, them a spoon and fork seasoner. So I call, she called me now and say like, I asked me, like, oh, you use your hand for seat. Can you imagine? Oh, so she tried to impress her over the weekend by using them hand. No, she asked me to tell them how oh, for hand season. <laughs> Isn't that me, I said? Yeah. Because today, always I use spoon and fork. Yeah, spoon and fork. They come this weekend and be able to teach them to Okay. Yes, yeah, so you, no. obviously, them not rubbing in the seasoning in that food. No. You know, them not know that something. Yeah, they must eat. Yeah, must eat. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Them, them, them aren't too stush. As stush and woman, them and thing. Them not know for rubbing seasoning or whatever. And any woman who don't know for rubbing seasoning in a meat or whatever, you know, say, them are not good otherwise. Yeah, them certain things like for rubbing. Yeah. yeah, them yeah. don't know for yeah, rubbing yeah, yeah. certain things. Them and yeah, no good. Yeah. Them uh, nah, buff on them. Them and work on so. it. Yeah, so any woman mm. who don't know for rubbing seasoning in a meat, yeah. them are no good with meat. Oh, that's why chicken back down over mango side. They said that's why chicken. Mango and them good enough. Where you say mango mango and them good. Yeah, mango yeah, know that's yeah. something there. Yeah, Mango yeah. Noah for Robbie and Cheese. Mango, Mango Noah for Robbie and Cheese. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, big up Team Raga. Big up. Well, I've been careful because you know, Sonia is for Team Raga, but Sonia need, need flour with spoon too. But we are work for she. But big yeah, up, yeah, Max. Yeah. So it's a Mango of the good and the. Well, you remember this yeah, point? Yeah, 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 you, remember, you remember the point that she said that I want to say, I want to love her with a slow. Yeah. Yeah. Slow. Oh, yeah. I'm not going to think that. Yeah. You yeah. understand, yeah. but them yeah. women, you know, them, yeah. them, them, yeah, them are not good. Right. You, know, say, you, know, you should tell um, Java I Mirror mean, she want curry chicken back. Because you know, for curry him down and rubbing the curry powder. Who, 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 who said they want curry chicken back? Who, who, who. Yeah, they were, yeah, 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 she want curry chicken back. Oh yeah, cut chicken back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So she, so because my driver don't know how to do the, I use fork and spoon and try rubbing the curry. It don't work. So chicken back, love when man go curry him down and rub him down, rub it, rub it deep on him. Jesus Christ, looking at the chat and look what Delmarine just post. What <laughs> Delmarine post? ANC for life, Anthony's crew for life. Remember, you know, what, 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 no, no, I sure you said Delmarine just play herself, you know. Oh my God, she looks so pathetic. First of all, she asked to join the crew. Them not let her in the crew yet, you know. Oh, so she beg it out. She beg it out. I beg, she beg it out. And the OD with the thing, right? I know. She do too much. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, I'm glad she gone over there because, right? I know she liam. She liam. She well, was a strong firm woman in the over that side. They like all the sham people. Sham me over Like sham. No, sham, sham no over there. Yeah. Sham, no, no, no the strong cook. firm woman, them know about them, man. Yeah. The strong body woman. Sham, gang, you look for sham, you see the food. 
But you say, as you look, man, Sean, you say the food. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because, no, no, because I'm sturdy and strong, you know, yeah, strong yeah, body, yeah. yeah. Are you right, yeah, you know, I'll be a week as over there, that, you know. But when I put the body over that side, they look fatigued. Apart from yeah. the other side. Yeah, the body yeah. is look fatigue. My care for go back to my part for uh, apart from who? the strongness. Who? Nakia, I forgot about some of my strongness for them. Eh? Nakia, <laughs> yeah, uh, Nakisha. <laughs> no, where are you? Nakia, I just say you're there. I just say you've been there. So, so stay there. <laughs> yeah. So, she, she, she are the only one where in the crew. We well, have uh, look at so and so. No, yeah. but when I say, you know, remember, I say she wins you too, you know. Then, then I start to like. No, but she wins you too. That's why I'm saying, say no. Like them, no, like I'll tell me, go over there with her little self and whatever. Yeah, with, yeah. Where yeah, she yeah, associate yeah, with it? Yeah, yeah. Them are in Shunu, they know they know anything with any name when you have hands. Because, yeah. yeah, you know, you don't even, you don't even, because, because she didn't look like hands already, so that's probably she. she yeah, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> You look like the one of them. Of the, you know them frenetic the black ants, ants there? The red ants, the red ants them, yeah. No, no, the red ants you look like. Because the red ants them, I mean, not disrespect black, you know. But if you really think about it, you know. You know what I said, the red ants them. I find black one them. No, man, because here one of me, I'll tell you why she's not the red ants them. You're right, red ants them. You notice that the red ants them, them not running, them walk slow on them, them very, you yeah, know, them deliberate them and thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the red hands them ten to be more, you know, them not run. Yeah. But the black hands them as soon as you put on, them just them just run in and start yeah. nyam up your thing and right, run. Right, right. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? The black hands light. them. them the black hands them light and them when you kill them, them look powdery. Yeah, when the black hands them, them not a substance, substance to them. Substance, yeah, yeah, no, the black hands and, and that are the own. And we not disrespect black, you know, because we rape black, but we just attack about the truth yeah. right you now. So then, Marie, now one of them, you know them look a careless black hands and we just hang out in a park, a picnic for the <laughs> no, young people. No, no, me not go with the park. No. Listen to me, me man. She one of them careless <laughs> black hands, you know, no, when, you, when you eat your ice cream. Up. No Listen to me, man. When you eat your pineapple cake really and the pork. <laughs> Listen, when you eat your pineapple cake and the pork and the crumbs drop, which aunt you always say run out and you have a thing where you, 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 you where, where drop out of your mouth, auntie? Which aunt you? <laughs> <laughs> Talk it truth with God love. Which answer is it? That's true. The first hands come around a black hand. They look a black hands. No, no, that, no, no, yeah. that, 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 have some things on the back burner to feed them and make them feel good. Right, right, yeah. right. Yeah, right, I have to go right. take care of them. No, because I want to tell you, like, you see, like when them down there now, and like, you know, yeah. you know, Antasha and Java and them, we have to go kind yeah. of make them stay in the house most of the time down there because them time of year down in Orlando, down there, windy, you know. Well, you're right, you know. yeah. No man, never bring some weight for my son. Listen, my son, them work out, and them, you know the thing. Them Listen to me, weight can't, can't save them. them. Yeah. All we have to do is protect them, them. make them stay inside them. because <laughs> we can't too make them walk out and thing because we spot the place they have all kind of like nice wide lawn with breeze and all and thing. And two them kind of light, you know, with them idiot food. We don't want to bring yeah. a blow them and then take off like kite without uh, like BG mm. without strong. I and think yeah, about it. Because them not them look, look, them. Them. Them look a substance and look a weird to them, you know. You know, like how Sham mm -hmm. and Mango them firm on the ground, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Them yeah. have them thing, you know, and them what 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 the song them you know, them coming like feather in the wind uh, sitting like so or whatever. You know? <laughs> I'm ashamed for them, Marine. Yeah, yeah, I'm feel out here. Yeah, because I share the loudest out of all of them now, you know. Look at the era, ants, ants will never be hungry. Can't say the same for you, mister. But how oh, but, oh, she get all... But she had the what? loudest defender for the... Not even them are defending ants in this crew. Oh, my God. Like she? Yeah. Like, yeah, she do too much. Yeah. Yeah, that's right, that's she right. never joined in yet and whatever and she had the loudest one over there but ants will never be hungry and whatever this and that. That's right, impress them. 
Like we now say ants will never be hungry, you know, because you know, always I always eat. It's just that the food only eat no good. So you know, no hungry. Yeah, no, no, no quality food. Yeah, you know, belly yeah, full with eat, light food. Eat quality food. Yeah, and belly like... full with idiot food, you understand? So yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. <laughs> we have, to, we have to go just make sure them stay in and not to walk out, you know, in and a breeze or not with them there, you know. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, on the weekend, I'm look for the forecast. The weekend, I'm nice. The everything weekend, they're going nice. Okay. Yeah, man, everything look, look like everything. I go, unless it changes, you know. But yeah. it, it look, look like a pure sunshine, and people can walk out in a bikini and go for jump in a pool and all of them. Well, we'll have the pool party. there, and we'll have the jacuzzi, and the pool will be See heated, that? and all these and things, and whatever. Well, and shampoo, so and then soon kick out them, then soon kick out them, Marie. Yeah, but me not like it. We, we, we accept the park. We like it. Who? We like Del Marie, so we accept the park. No, nah, well, Adessa know me and you're different. Why? Then pick her up, me take her. I mean, I look a weak spot here. You know? No, well, well, speak for yourself, but because me I tell you, yeah. I don't think them all fling her out or whatever, you know, because they yeah. know them. And, and, and I think Sham may accept her. Is Sham a good person? No, Sham, person Sham person not going to accept her. Sham not going to accept her. Sham may accept her. Listen Sham to me now, we are grow and we are learn, right? So when yeah. somebody you now who did in your car and go so boom and jump going over this, so, and then become the loudest cheerleader over this, so, right? Okay. And uh, you can't take back that person. You must be mad. Nah, man. Right? <laughs> make, them, make them go on and think about them. When Delmarine go over there and start near about them food and them vex and thing and whatever, because Delmarine don't have a high metabolism. Delmarine craving with a high metabolism. Delmarine is a nyama. Right? So Delmarine go near about them food and them something and them. I get tired of Delmarine and thing. And Delmarine strike me like a high maintenance, you know, stushy, stushy, itty, tighty woman to it. You don't feel so? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, she have a look at eye maintenance too. That's why I'm hesitating to bring her in because she look like she's craving. Yeah, when they say because she look like she's craving, that's why they don't hesitate to bring her in. Yeah. 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 Me feel so too. They must say, no, I never bring her over here. And we are going hungry because she's going to have a lot of food over here. Yeah, you know, she said. Oh, and she cannot be hungry because yeah, that is it. What? She's going to make them hungry now. Yeah, she's going to make them hungry because. Then Marina, one of them look a sneaky but gravelicious woman, there, you know. Gravelicious, as we say in a jungle. Gravelicious. Eh? What you say? I'm going to say, how am I shape? How am I shape, dog, man? How am I shape? 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 How I look a speed, no shovel, no, I look a speed. What you say, I'm more shape like I look a speed, not a shovel, no. What do you call it? The, the little one, them, when, they, when, they, when the Mason man, them use the little yeah. triangle looking one, no. Yeah. yeah, chowel. Yeah, chowel, yeah, yeah, when I look a chowel mount and thing, and yeah. No, yeah. but Sharp that chowel, ready. Ready no, yeah. but yeah. that yeah. chowel, no, but you see, that chowel mount, the two, I, it may have some, um, shall we say, some um, vacuum capability. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> no, no, man. My thing said, Delmarine have the like vacuum mount there, you know. <laughs> Scoop up everything. I want to. My God. Yeah, yeah. All right. Don't worry yourself, man. Me, I tell you, man. Right. Them career are going to flop next weekend, not this yeah. weekend. Yeah. 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 yeah, man. I get surprised, man. The market, some good food I've reached. Yeah. Ah, you see what Natasha post though. Natasha Jopal said, Delmarie is a wannabe ants. <laughs> it's a wannabe ants. That's a loan to the seller of all the people and interested in that. Yeah, wannabe ants, no. Oh, gosh. Yeah, a OD over there in the ants this crew. We have beat her, we have butter, you see what we are now. She lucky we don't have no show tomorrow. I need two hours, you see. <laughs> Don't worry, man. I'll be there next week. Uh, all right, baby. Yeah, man. Big up yourself, man. I'm going to carry KJ go get a ear cut, you know. You know? Uh, all right. Take it easy. Yeah, man. I say, all man. right, then, Marie, darling. Love you. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yo, people, me did have one video for playing, and I still want to play it. Make I set it up there, man. Right? Nah, well, My whole man. All right, I want to listen to that video, yeah. And then 
tea from the podcast, yeah. Why? Sometimes I do something and I say, boy, I run it by some people and it's like them I say, them don't see the big deal. And then me where I say, what do you mean they don't see the big deal? And that's one of the scariest things I ever hear and whatever. And I say like, you don't stay with a person there. Eh? Well, yeah, because the person is, you know, is a, we're not going to hear what I talk about, you know. And then I said, but yeah, because the person is a good person. And that is the reason why I'm play, I'm going to play this thing, all right? As you listen to this, because I'm going to read one thing with somebody sending, right? You're going to hear this lady, I read one thing with somebody sending. So as you listen to it, you're going to hear commentary about a good person. The man is a good man. He's a good man. But when you hear what the woman find out about the man, he's a good man, and he's a husband for how many years, and she have three daughters with him. Three daughters she have with him. And he is a good, wonderful man. But when you hear what she find out with this man, you do forget her. Me want to tell me if you could, I mean, I want to just give me no spontaneous answer. Me want to know if you tell me if you not really stay with ladies in particular, if you not really stay with a man. Yeah. And me want to think hard too, like, so it is if you answer, because you know, in our position. But I want to think that when I'm married to the man, when I'm there with the man for how many years, when I have three daughters with the man for how much, how much years, and think so I want to listen to the thing and be honest. All right? I'm going to do this thing. I'm going to fling it over here. All right. Let's go. My whole marriage is built on lies. I don't know who to trust. I am a 45 year old female. My husband is 47 years old. We have three daughters. What I thought was a perfect family was a lie orchestrated by my husband. We moved into a new home closer to my middle daughter's college. As I was unpacking some of the stuff, I came across my husband's box. I opened this box and found some stuff. Those were my photos when I was 20 years old. There were lists of the places I used to visit when I was 20 years old. But here's the thing. I met my husband on my 22nd birthday. So why does he have numerous pictures of me in different places from 20 to 22. As I went into the rabbit hole, I discovered many things. A list of places I normally went back then, like the gym, my library, my classes. He had lists of my friends and their names in a diary. He even had the list of all the guys I had dated back then. I didn't even know who he was back then. He didn't exist for me. I won't bore you with the details, but basically I found out that he staged a day we were met for the first time. To woo me, he took a job as bartender at the bar I usually went. He spiked my drink so that I passed out and he could save me. It worked because I was very much impressed by him. I mean, any guy would take advantage of a drunk girl, but he didn't. He took me to my home safely where my roommate received me. He stole my purse so that I can come and get it. From there, we started dating. I thought that we were soulmates, but in reality, he was just a creep who stalked me for two years. He had always been there for me. He was so sweet, passionate, and caring that I felt like the luckiest girl in the world to be with him. Now this is all a lie. I don't even know the person I married. Oxide. Yo. My whole marriage is built on lies. I don't know who to trust. I am a 45 year old female. My husband is 47 years old. We have three daughters. What I thought was a perfect family was a lie orchestrated by my husband. We moved into a new home closer to my middle daughter's college. As I was unpacking some of the stuff, I came across my husband's box. I opened this box and found some stuff. Those were my photos when I was 20 years old. There were lists of the places I used to visit when I was 20 years old. But here's the thing. I met my husband on my 22nd birthday. So why why does he have numerous pictures of me in different places from 20 to 22? As I went into the rabbit hole, I discovered many things. A list of places I normally went back then, like the gym, my library, my classes. He had lists of my friends and their names in a diary. He even had the list of all the guys I had dated back then. I didn't even know who he was back then. He didn't exist for me. I won't bore you with the details, but basically I found out that he staged a day we were met for the first time. To woo me, he took a job as 
bartender at the bar I usually went. He spiked my drink so that I passed out and he could save me. It worked because I was very much impressed by him. I mean, any guy would take advantage of a drunk girl, but he didn't. He took me to my home safely where my roommate received me. He stole my purse so that I can come and get it. From there, we started dating. I thought that we were soulmates, but in reality, he was just a creep who stalked me for two years. He had always been there for me. He was so sweet, passionate, and caring that I felt like the luckiest girl in the world to be with him. Now this is all a lie. I don't even know the person I married. I uh, let me be fear and balance here. I shared this with female friends of mine, and um, a couple of them said they like it. They, you know, a couple of them, they, they, you know, they were like, you know, one second caller. They were like, yo, we went through all of that, to, you know, to get, you know, they were like, you know, a man who do all of that, forget them is like, you know, him really focus and, you know, and, you know, that is what I'm like when a man make extra effort, forget them and, and that he, you know, she said that he's kind and passionate and caring and, and there were women who say they like this. They like a man who spike them drink for them pass out. Get a job at the bar where she, she always a frequent so that him can him, him spike her drink for she pass out and carry her home and make she feel good so him rescue her. And then keep her purse so she'd have to ask back feet and come over and place feet. A researcher and document all our friend them and thing or whatever. I document every man who she did there with and them something that when she don't know him, I watch her and I stalk her for two years. I sit down and, and design and, and meticulously work out how I'm going to get her and trick her, deceive her into believing he's an incredible and wonderful person. I understand a man and make an effort, yeah. And I understand women liking to feel special and feel, you know, like, yo, you know, he's treating me different from all the other girls. That's good, you know. And, and I even understand that thing, they're like, yo, she walk out of the way, they're going to go and book up in her, but she thinks uh, we just randomly book up. That's cute. That, that, that's cute. That's romantic. I like that. But the, 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 the old father man, go, like, seriously? Yo, I don't know me, I'm afraid of him. Anyway, hello. Hi, Raga. Let me know why you're giving them nice hi, you know. All right, guys. Yeah. Hi, Raga. We still love you. Oh, listen, Nakita, <laughs> I don't want, you know, they don't, they don't, they don't want no nice eye until about the 18th. Okay. The 18th of <laughs> March, right? We after still the weekend, love you. It's all right, love, Raga. It's all love. Thing, don't trust you. Well, yeah, boy, hi, Raga. You're yeah, not, you yeah, yeah, nah, the same around here. That man tell you. But anyway, oh, we still love you, Raga. But Raga, we get serial killer vibes from the man here. Just oh. based on every yes, the it is it, it was too meticulous. Mm -mm. Um, you know everything when him do like it was deliberate and planned. That's a serial killer behave. Exactly. That past talking, that um past talking, that are serial killer vibes. If the man I know decides I'm gonna do something to she and whatever, is the same person who gonna sit down and plan it out, you know? And you're not mm -hmm. gonna see it come, you know? Mm-hmm. And then my one I want to go up on TV I talk about, oh my wife and my wife. Then in the in a corner, I in in, in my reminisce at night time or in the used to look night care around with three months for killer. Yeah. That's what me I get from nah, him. No, but hold on. No. Let's be fair, though. Even though she's saying, like, you know, whatever. Remember, you know, she said, them live where her middle daughter is now going to college, <laughs> right? That means them have a whole lot of daughter. So, yeah, talk about them married now for 20 odd years, right? No, no, no. I mean, I said she's leaving you now because oh. that's hard, you know. Oh, God, Raga. Can you imagine? All right, you see, if she did say the relationship is bad, we should be one foot in and one foot out, then it would be easy for her to leave. But she said she thinks she have a perfect marriage. So that right. means that things good with them. It feels her fear. Like, that's very hard. Like, me can't even 
imagine how our mind must be erased then now. It, yeah, it because why, done, why she got, but, I mean, you know? listen, after 20 odd years, mm -hmm. I, I, I would think that what she's seeing in 20 odd years from what she says is a perfect marriage that do you think that's really who he is? What she saw, what she saw to you know for say is a perfect marriage. You think that's really who he is? You know, as opposed to the, the meticulous person who go through all them things that you know forget her. No, I think him have a side of him like me say like a serial killer side, the nice side where everybody love you know them people are with, when when them do things but they be like oh no me never see that coming because he's so nice mm -hmm. it's the nice guy in my in my put forward that means there's something no, else no, I'm going with the him nice or guy is is really who him is and at that point i don't think that's who him is though like no no but you think it, after it, 20 it years like you hold on, ever, after no, 20 sorry. years mm -hmm. in a marriage and whatever and he has been consistently nice caring and compassionate she said it you know, and it to the point that she thinks she's... Too. Yeah, but what if somebody... Remember, you know, I, I'm uncomfortable with it. But I'm just saying, but what if somebody say, Nah, man, then that a man have to do more time when you, if you, you know, you have to have a singular focus and when you know, say... Because him don't sound like a man who has born her, you know. Or ill treat no, or, or that whatever. Means, that's what I'm right, saying. Right, but that... Yeah, but that's the whole point, though. It sound like... I'm so obsessed to the point it, it passed from a long time, you know. I'm obsessed with her from, you know, I do everything to get her. So yeah. I'm so obsessed. Of course, he now go step outside and him appear like he's this perfect guy because he's obsessed with her. You understand? Yeah. So, you know, me, say, I, him, you know, I don't think that's really him, you know, but because theme obsession, basically theme obsession lead him to be perfect. But that's not really who he is. He's not a perfect being. You understand? But to him upset, he more want her, probably more than all she want him. It has him going to do everything because he's been obsessed with her for years and years and years for go through that extent. What do you think you know? would happen if she said she want a divorce? What do you think? Or you think he would have taken it? Um, it, I don't think you would get mad. Me think say you don't just dis she don't just disappear. You you mean like should I like should you would probably take it calm. I don't think you would get angry. Um you would be like, what did I do? Or whatever, whatever, and try to reason it out and talk it out. But then people like those talkers and so they don't really handle um rejection good. So it yeah. might up. Uh, here, like he accept it, but him not really accept it, and then all of a sudden she disappear or sitting wrong with her. She dropped yeah. down the speed. I don't know something. That's what I'm getting. Like you know, that's that's the vibe with me again. Raga, if somebody spike your drink, you know, yeah, and get a job like you deliberately no, get, get no. a job. Which part you frequent in order for spike our drink? Yeah. No, Raga, serial killer business. And then like this. spike Sorry. her drink, and then you carry her home, and then you be like this gentleman or whatever, and she think you are here. Yeah. And you set up all of that. And then you keep her purse for she have to ask yeah, back to the yeah. purse and then come. And then now she see us this incredible person and thing and that. You know, I had a, you know, I was careless and I had a, term, you know, I, you know, behave in a way where I put myself in danger and you were there for me, not knowing his input are in a danger. That, that, mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. you know. And him, 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 him research and kept records of every man that she did there with. I wonder why, what, if, if, if me did find out that, but I'm going to link up about them ex there you now. I'll find out if he ever have conversation with them. But that are just me like uh, what cause he I have reach out with them who for tell if him didn't know. Yeah, right? yeah, because I mean he now got just he now got just like start the, the, the ex man the man up. You, you understand you have to get rid of them in order to put himself in another situation there, eh? you know? So why me I, not I, I, why it's hard. Me feel and, like, and, me feel and, like and put all of them details there together, but let me tell you something. Me and one of them people, you know, it's like, 
you date somebody and whatever, 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 whatever. Me know other people go through this too. And them just, you just find out something about them where, or them say something about you or them, them say whatever, whatever. But just cause if you reach a point where this person, you know how much, how much years and whatever. Like right at that moment, you realize you don't know this person. Mm-hmm. You don't know mm-hmm. this person. Mm-hmm. For me, that is that is huge. That is huge. That that is just really real. That part, the other part, that would have been the deal breaker for me because yeah. I, my thing is, I am with you because I know you. <laughs> I stay mm-hmm. with you mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. I know you. I go through mm-hmm. so and so and so because me know you. I can't swear mm-hmm. for certain things about you when me know mm-hmm. about you. You know, after so many mm-hmm. years, and then all of a sudden, it's like no. I, I don't you. know you. Yeah. And and, and a three girls they said they have, right? Or something like that. Yeah, yeah, Can you imagine no raga? You know, she had talked to all her daughter, they man say. Your dad is such a gentleman that when me meet him and me have this incident where me pass out and he never even make a move or anything. He, you understand what I say? How it's like a figure she had tried to show her daughter. No, like a father figure and a she respect. Has, do, Can no, you blood. imagine? You me, thank no, God for your father so you know what standard if you look for in a man or whatever because yes. your father set it. Yeah, you know what? Yo. Damn. Mm-mm. I tell you, man. That one they rough. That one they rough. Me always, me the... always look on them podcasts and thing. and me always, you know, well, I met and entertain and laugh and thing and whatever. And when that one, that one, that one, about five times, I have to do it and me think about it and me I say, John, no. And if that did reach me, like, oh, you'd have flex you if a woman go, go, go juggle them with you and thing. Me, 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 me would have afraid. Me would have afraid. Man. <laughs> Raga, me feel like, me, me feel like, say, ma, probably, you know, stalk her now, like, for, like work on her, something that she better not bunny me now. Yeah. Because... <laughs> <laughs> Ranga, don't be a surprise if when she starts search and look for you. she now that she's aware of the situation, some things might become like even clearer to her. Then right. she won't be like, Oh yes, yeah, so how I'm being no say but it thinks I'm just a car, but I never mind reading or you know, you, you know that feeling the way I pick up a phone yeah. to call your spouse yeah. and no watch him that watch me. No, it no, makes you know, sense. I think other said, like, are he's here. the yeah. one, he's like my soulmate. You know why? He knows me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but right. you know why I'm no way. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. And why and keep it? Why 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 and keep the information? As some st- as, as some serial killer business that raga. Alright. Like it is a keep seeking, go back in there, in go look and stuff like that. Uh, may I share something like with reminisce. You? Mm-mm. May I share something with you. I'm probably you know, I'm probably I don't know if him still watch my show, but if him watch it a female. Yeah, no, so me know somebody man and me not know. <laughs> right? And theme style, what him do now? Like, Facebook was pop way. To me, Facebook was popular years ago than it is now. That's just to me, right? Right. That's true. Um, mm-hmm. But what he would do, and there were more personal interaction on Facebook than this whole business thing now or whatever. But you remember when Facebook was about community and friends and everything? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So at that mm-hmm. time, what he would do, he have this female fake profile. And he would create this. He's a grown man, may I talk about you know, him? Create this female fake profile. And then I, you have to populate it. Because I, I guess when people look upon a, a, a profile and if you don't have friends or whatever, them like, then I would a person. Yeah, and they don't have so mm-hmm. he would go through this thing and we would build this profile with friends and whatever. And, and apparently there's a way to do it where, you know, you, you, you make friends with, say you like somebody, you make friends with for them friend. And then right, the, friends of friends, yeah, right. and some, something like right. that, whatever. Mm-hmm. So he may, he's applying himself and thing, but he has all these female profiles, and then we use them and make friend with women. And then mm. was very skilled at you know at friending with them and then talking to them about women stuff, mm-hmm. and end up learning so much about them, and then now. 
when him when them him build these friendship and the woman them share and them something them because people do this online you know make friend online i'm mm-hmm. like good friend online who them never even meet yet and whatever right and then now he will move to them as himself and then and then him him, him know if we do that breadcrumbs thing there like look a drop 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 a right, thing right, and, know right. and, so and then mm-hmm. these women now them just think like oh my god him just know god. me yeah him then know, him compatible <laughs> yeah and know me yeah. and when i tell you that boy i get front left right and center we then sitting there and we take time driver from him you know it have nothing to do with me you know <laughs> What my right, thing was, but your standards are yeah, more. Yeah, my right. thing me, was, me yo, with um, either, right? yeah. And and to him, him just, I just woman him a look and them outsmart and them research we too and whatever, which is true. But um, me don't know. Yeah, me but woman, oh woman, oh woman research, you know, raga. Them not really. Fun. I mean, I might be naive with this, but. We see you and then we like you and then we start get information from you. Right, that, yeah, and and that's different from manipulation and yeah, you use a yeah, different persona yeah. and yeah, extract information and then yeah, use that information right. with so a we, different right. entity and whatever. And, you right, know. so we want to know the only time we do stuff like that, like we want to link up the meeting or we want to find out where the man there, so we we use another. I mean, I mean, I have another profile. I'm just saying that's how we manipulate. Information want to, like want to, want to, want to. May I listen? But, <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> <laughs> but not only come on to men. We have to see you, and then we want to know who we're getting involved with. So we start look oh, which up. Which is and reasonable, we start right, research right, and right, research right. And research. You know, but that's a start. That's a serial killer vibes, Raga. There's no way this man's supposed to go to that extent and keep it. Like you know, serial killers usually have they. If you then dig up years of stuff, they you see them. They have this box or they have yeah. they have sitting dig dug in the dirt or yeah, something with them. Have the keep, mementos like, and all these things. Yes, and, and then keep six and stuff like that. That me feel so me feel bad fear because. You know, having children and you your married, you think yeah, your marriage you're so perfect. You're vested so. in this person now. My and, God. You know, it's, um, mm-hmm. But I right, straight up question before you go. Come here, go get, a year, get my son a year cut. Would you leave? Um, I don't know, to be honest with you. Um, but I forgot to ask him. Natalie, you couldn't pass. I'm going to ask him. Why would I go flip out the box in front of him uh, and say, explain this, you know, and chances are now going to make no sense, you know, because there's no way you can explain a way out of that. But I don't know. This is one of the situations where me re- uh, we say great years. This is one of the great years. I don't think it would be easy All right, for her final to question. Our marriages How would her. you feel sleeping with your husband after that, sleeping with him after that? It depends on the decision where Mega come to. Because he now get no front, front while me in a limbo. I decide. Right, 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 right. You know, but if me decide to Mega stay with him, I can't stay Mega stay with him and not get no front. And no front, aren't it? But would you enjoy? And, but, you'd, have, you'd have get used to it, though. It's because you'd have just not say, basically, it's an imposter body. It no, would have been an imposter body. Or we, yeah, but here's the thing with women now. Um, when me start out, I could not think about is... I don't know you, like <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you know, say so to them be just fifty in pleasure per se. You know, just to keep the marriage together. It might. I feel like even if she's here, even if she decides to stay the marriage, I go feel that that's how we meeting because she pretty much don't know him. Everything else just have to start unfold and unfold and unfold. That's that's just my opinion. All right, let me show you, you know. like a you see the division now. So Sharm say. Yes, me I leave because I couldn't sleep with him anytime. But then lick your lips said, personally, I would laugh it off, especially if he's a lovely man to me and the children. You see, it's a, it's a two, two different perspectives. You know? Me not laugh it off. Me, me, me not laugh it off. I mean, me, me want to know the answer. Me go ask the question then. Me no want to say me not go, because there's no way, in my mind, or me personally say, there's no way you can explain your, 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 your way out of that. But me want, me still want to know why you do it, you know. What you but mean you want to know why you do it? You want to do it because he want you. Then that man tell us, I have a friend, she said, I want to tear a 
And them man that you want and thing, you know, so them man they are just you, them are pre and whatever, them just uh, you, them want a man kill up himself, so for me, no, and whatever sir, she said, you know, she said, and that you that want, like a man just totally committed to her that we're there and re, re, re. But that not healthy, that not healthy, like, yeah, yeah, every woman want one man where totally committed to them and stuff, that's our wish, you know, that's our wish, it don't happen, that's our wish, however, I mean, to serial killer level though? You see what Antasha post? And really, listen, listen Antasha said, I, mm -mm. "I don't think I could get over the fact that he drugged me." I, I just think that yes. is just so deep, That's right trust. there. Yeah, yeah, you know, that is trust. Yeah, that is trust. That is like you at the most vulnerable moment. You put me in. You put the you put, put the woman in an, yeah. in her most vulnerable yeah. moment and thing or whatever. And I and mean, you threatened her like not only your, her health. I mean, I mean. Yeah. Technically, him don't know what type of sickness she could have did have where that, that mm -hmm. drug there is just not a good idea. You know, it yeah. essentially risk her life, you know, for him one personal, yep. you know, for use her in some way and to get access to her in some way. That that could have been fatal, right? By the way, I'm still not even look out, nothing could I mean, like Mr. Raga, um, me would have probably if me decide to done me would have probably would have done it right that's so because of the kids or whatever but because of everything else we're gonna come with it no sex life no no communication mega completely shut off because again i don't know you so you know everything just go unravel unravel probably end up on lose interest too you know uh, it, it, uh, it, it, mm -mm. it was frightening to me no, right, so, me me not nobody love me, so, sorry. No, no, me, no. And I'm a big, like, me, I'm big on affection and stuff. Me not nobody love me, so, sorry. Eh, 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 mm -hmm. eh, 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 eh. Me already mm -hmm. don't even like people who, you know, them people who suffocate you, who just over you too much and want to monitor you and what. Me grew up in a street, you know, me like you, me grew up in a street mm -hmm. and me, there's a certain, just give me my space. I can't even sit right. on between people anyway. I can't sit up there at the end. Mm -hmm. Right? You know, give me my space and whatever. And for just know, say somebody did just a shadow you and over you so and you don't even did know. Yeah, my sir, ass, man. Me couldn't, me couldn't, no, me sir. I feel like I had a dilemma, do I? Me would like, have take it time, it take for myself, right there, sir, because yeah. me not trust yeah. you. Every time me and yeah. you have a little argument, no, I'm going to go here, yes, and tell this and that, me have to fret, you know, and I wonder where you have planned. I mean, uh... <laughs> but, but here, I'm going to see all them, it's about, you know, usually them charming, you know, so all in an argument and so, they're mm. not arguing around, they might the one with you reason things out, and she said, oh, he's so, you know, reasonable, and we can talk, and all kind of things. Mm -hmm. No one said the mind at the back of the mind. He probably all have one voodoo doll if somebody they had joke her up and stab her up when he get angry. No, sir. <laughs> mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Anyway, no, 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 no. I have to go give me a look, get my look, boy, get a trim, you know, and thing. And... All right, so, Raga. Goodbye. Now, what are we the change up voice? Big up yourself. Mm, but, uh, Welcome to the team. Ah, oh, Del Del. You know, you know. I had to say that, Raga. <laughs> You're lucky. You're lucky. We're reporting here. Anybody else want to come in? Just nah, know that so we're loyal to each Del, other Del, Del Marine and does stuff play like that. You know? Thing. We're right there, off, right there now. Del Marine you gets right there. Y'all feel business that you feel if you're get right, right there, off, off, right there now. Del Marine get right off. But we off. don't care. If, we if, not if, look if you're right there, off, we don't care about that. We, we right. got our box. You know, That's you remember when matters. they used to cut exercise book in a half of Jamaica, right now, Del Marine coming like one half of exercise book with dog ears. In middle business, we want to say at least, at least, at least you're off, you don't have none. So, yeah. you see no banana by your side. What? What? What do you Yo, mean about the banana? We got none of this in it. We not for come out and announce things and whatever. We think just solid oh, over here. Please. Right? Oh, please, Raga. No, we are who you we are. Once that. you have announced who oh, you are, please. once you have announced who you are, you're not who you are. That's why Del Marina Ball. Ants Nest for life, NC for life, and whatever. <laughs> and we just <laughs> and we, we listen to me. Say. Del Marine, first of all, you know, you know, my, you yes, see Java come up. I'm glad Java did come out, you know, and said, Del, no, we're not, 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 we're
We not two in a them no, 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 Find the ground and thing and whatever. And Delmarine, Delmarine asks for giant today. Delmarine asks for giant today. And then after she asks for giant, before the even respond, and see for life, and see for life. Like seriously, you know, some one girl did one good did one get in long time. No, Good no, it no, no, get she, in long time. Listen to me. As she does stubborn up the thing. But she did a stubborn. No, time. no, oh, no. We, we, she did a beg it on a long time. I never did a letter. I never did a letter. I should beg it out. She paparazzed no, it out. Like that, she said she did belong from long time. I saw me eat her neck. Nobody on the other side. You, you, no, no, no. When she beg it out. When we done, you're not going to have nobody left by Del your Marie, side. Beg no, it out. You know when you <laughs> you know when you eat your food and you have some dog and come stand up on the young so, eh, and just a look up on you and dine for your children while look up on or whatever. And that guy now is sorry for you. And after you have to eat your meat off your bone on the gear. So you know that you try to look up on your and look a piece of morsel yeah, yeah. Upon it and see how they know a suck off a bone. Yeah, 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 yeah. I suck off no, the arms know, bone. Raga, eh? The more you talk, the more you talk, and the more people are gonna come. So you're no, 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 no. No, Keep no, well, well, that's not a bad mind thing. You and what, every, no, mind you, and everybody, and everybody, and everybody are going to get invitation. No, Don't forget. No, you but just said, you the said, more the more, the more the nice people are going to come. But, 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 but you said, the more I talk, the more people come down. That is a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> 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 anyway, <laughs> all right. Good night. Good yeah, night. Yeah, man. Bless good up, night, bless ladies. Up, bless good night, Tom Fan. All right. right. People, me have a leg of right now. Me, I carry my boy. I go get a haircut, you know. Carry KJ go get a haircut tonight. Oh, I said the barber what? You know, barber what? My late and thing and and no vex. But the next time um, show is Tuesday. We're not having a show tomorrow. I have to take my kids someplace tomorrow. And thing and whatever for visit. Um, well, not for telling everything, but you know, I have to take my kids somewhere. All right. Take care on the cell, people out of road, so I'll be back on Tuesday. All right, y'all be good now. All right, be nice. I don't know, say a time fam for life, no. Oh, by the way, people, um, I did um two um and four hundred. Those are citizenship applications in January, right? So I have two clients who did um their citizenship application in January. They got dates for this month. They got dates for this month. I, I don't know what is going on. Some people say it always happened in an election year. I, I don't know. when, Particularly when Democrats are in power. I don't, I, 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 I don't know about that. And whatever, but for whatever reason, they're moving fast. I also want to inform you, remind you that um, USCIS um, fees, you know, immigration application, different, whatever, those are going up effective the 1st of April. The 1st of April, the fees, them are jump up by hundreds of dollars and all these things. So keep that in mind. And uh, and again, I don't know, I don't know if it's an N-400 thing. Um, most of the applications I do, they are um, I-130 and I-485, you know, petition for, him, you know, for alien relative and also in an application for change of status or registration of a green card. Those are the ones that I, you know, those are the ones where you do mostly and thing. Um, but then citizen application, it runs third. That's quick. <laughs> That's quick. They're usually not that quick. So something really I go on. So if anybody, you know, you have your immigration, um, um, you know, you know, um, concerns to address, 
and things like that, please give me a call, send me a text, 718-308-9993, 718-308-9993, one more time, 718-308-9993. Nine 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 three. All right. Bless upon yourself. Go. Cool.